Wagwan people, Wagwan tea sippers, Wagwan regenerals. How are you all doing today? I hope you're feeling good. I hope you're feeling iry because we've got another jam-packed all signs reading for you today. Yes, darling. Yes, honey. Today's reading, we're looking into the question, what are their current feelings? What are their feelings for you right now? So if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to Wagwan Tara and Tea. Come and join the Love and Light family and gather these intuitive gems. Okay. Right, so just a little bit of housewarming. I hope you are feeling nice and comfortable. Sit down and relax. Okay, come and settle down. And Wagwan, you ask? Wagwan is Jamaican Pat One. It simply means what's going on. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be pulling the information from the cards and seeing what's going on. Wagwan. So I hope you have a nice cup of tea or a beverage. Let us know what you are sipping on. Put it in the comments below, okay? And before we begin, we like to bring really good, good energy into the reads. So we're going to tap into that energy of gratitude. So let's let's get into it. All right. So thank you, universe. Thank you, spirit guides. Thank you, guardian angels. Thank you, ancestors, for the messages that we're about to receive today. May these re messages resonate with the collective and allow these messages to strengthen their intuition and use their discernment every time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So, all signs read. We have Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Sc Scorpio. Did I say Libra? Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Okay, so you can go through your times, um, go through the time stamp, time stamps, but you can also go through your moon sign. So if you know what your moon sign and your moon sign is, kind of how your you know how you might in regards to your emotions, you can go to your ascendant sign. So that's how you can ap appear and come across. Okay. Also, not forgetting your sun sign, okay? And if you know, if you know your Jupiter sign as well, things like that, because Jupiter is the the planet around money and things like that, you can also look into that as well. But we are looking into the question: what their current feelings are for you right now? So it's a we're looking really in predominantly into the love kind of like energy if there's anything else to do with money and career we will have a look into it also but we're really going to focus on that so let's get into it so sit back and relax and make sure you like and subscribe and come and join the family all right here goes right so we are looking into aries what are their current feelings for you right now aries let's have a look at aries okay so we're gonna start with the tarot. What are their current feelings? Woo! So, what are their current feelings? I feel like the Nine of Cups coming out for Aries is saying there's a strong feeling of them feeling content. I feel like you lighten up their world. I feel like you give them this energy, this energy of fulfillment that they really admire. And I feel like maybe they might have not always shared this with you, but I feel like when you when you talk to them, when you communicate with them, you I feel like you give this give this energy of wow, I really enjoy this person. I keep I want to spend more time with this person. I want to get to know this person. Now, if this person is somebody you are not currently, or there may have been some separation, I feel like this. The time apart has really helped them to see that in you. Okay, so we're going to pull out a Jamaican proverb. Let's see what the Jamaican proverb wants to tell you at this time regarding the person and what their current feelings are for toward, towards you, Aries. Ooh. So we have a Nancy rope tie a Nancy. A Nancy rope tie a Nancy. Now there's a little bit of a, sto a little story about a Nancy. It's a, it's a tale, like storytelling 
um, originated from West Africa and it's very popular in Jamaica and um, the other parts of the Caribbean as well. Well, it's a story about a Nancy who's a little spider who's always up to mischief. Now, the stories kind of go focus on different types of tricks and trials and tribulations that Nancy gets up to. But it, essentially, this proverb is saying that a Nancy's own own doings created created a Nancy the spider to be wrapped up in its own troubles basically so this is all about caught up in a lie lie after lie can cause traps so be honest now i feel like this could be something just to be mindful of and i feel like maybe there could be this situation going on in your story areas where there has been some lies and i feel like maybe you have also sussed that this person may have not always been honest um and i feel like they may have not always shared information but i feel like this could be also why the nine of cups could be showing up is that maybe they how they approached you could have been in a dishonest way but i feel like the more they've got to know you you have made them feel more confident more at ease so just because this is showing up and we've got the court of the lie we're going to just have a look at the chakras let's see what chakras want to come out what color chakra wants to come out so for aries on this all signs what are their current feelings what chakras is being impacted by this person who, who has who has these feelings for them right now let's have a look Ooh, communication so blue is communication the throat chakra so i feel like again caught in a lie there may be some some things that they haven't been honest about and i feel like maybe they have struggled with that and or they could have also been not always forthcoming with saying how they truly feel and i feel like this could be also maybe them expressing how they truly feel about you okay all right so let's pull we've got some oracle let's pull us some let's pull some oracle cards Okay, wait, just go one second, so I'm just dropped on the floor, so bear with me. As we get into yeah, we're gonna get into it, darling. Yes. Alright, let's pull out. We've got the bush flower tarot deck. Let's have a look and see what message wants to come out for the collective. Ooh, yeah, the yellow. So we've got the yellow cowslip orchard. Now for critical or judgment tendencies look at this for critical or judgment tendencies so this flower the yellow cow's lip orchid represents this energy for critical or judgmental tendencies so why i feel like this person can i feel like there could be some maybe some sensitivities about their um expressing how they feel and i feel like maybe I feel like there's also a confidence issue here it may be saying how they feel about you or the fear of being judged or the fear i feel like there could be a fear of rejection so we're going to explore that a little bit further and see what else wants to come out so let's start with the the psychic tarot deck the one that fell on the floor Ooh. okay deception and envy but I don't feel it's like an envy. I feel like the deception is, the, again, the, the Anansi, the tale of the Anansi. Anansi caught itself in its own lies. So I feel like maybe this person has the, the their feelings. Could be they're not being honest. They're not being honest, but I feel like they may not be expressing everything that they need to express to let you know how they truly feel. So let's pull out. We've got the clarification um, deck. Um, the good karma let's have a look and see what's going on with this um, not being honest caught in a lie deception from this person that has current feelings for Aries what's going on six of swords six of swords six of swords let's see what's at the front and at the back so we've got the hang we've got the hangman hangman hangwoman and we've got the ace of wands in reverse so i 
I, I feel like there is a strong energy of a fight or flight. That's what I'm getting. A fight or flight. This person, what are their current feelings? Their current feelings is the Nine of Cups. This is the, this is their true feelings. But I feel like they're not expressing that. They're not expressing those feelings towards you. And I feel like they may be... I feel like the deception and the judgmental could be they're trying to act and play off as cool like everything is okay oh um yeah we're just friends or we're just communicating now but i feel like it's like they're trying to still play poker face that they like you and i feel like if you're watching this now you probably like sensing that hmm, do they like me i feel like they like me but i'm not too sure but i feel like this is what the energy that they're giving they're trying to come across as if as if they're not really liking you as if they're not feeling you and i feel like you're kind of sensing that like yeah this it just seems off like what are they doing what they're playing at okay so i feel like there's, there's definitely feelings here with the nine of cups but i feel like the six of swords is almost this fear of i don't want to oh i'm gonna i, I feel like it's a reserve this feeling of reserve in holding my holding back my feelings holding back i don't want to come across too strong i don't want to express anything especially with the hang the hangman hang woman being there and the ace of wands for the fear that it may not prosper any further so this is what this is the energy that i'm getting i'm gonna also we're gonna pull out one message from the spiritual guidance cupcake okay let's have a look and see wild gua let's see what's going on with the spiritual in the spiritual guidance cupcake and a message that a spiritual spiritually guided message that you need to know at this time so for aries what does aries need to know for this time any kind of additional clue that they can use to help them regarding this person and the situation okay what what do they need to know what do they need to know okay we've got two messages here so we have review your budget and do spring cleaning on your finances interesting so review your budget and do some spring cleaning on your finances okay okay and we have sing out loud that you are beautiful and always shining you can do it in the bath or shower if you want to, Aries. Yes, Aries. But I feel like the, the message here, Aries, is this person's feeling you. This person's feeling you, but they're holding back at this time. They're not being they're not being honest with their feelings. And I feel like, you know, if you're intuitively sensing that maybe this person likes you, trust your intuition, okay? Trust your intuition, but I feel like the the messages here. There's definitely there's definitely a strong feeling of liking you. They're just not being. They're just not owning up to their own feelings. Okay, so I hope that message is resonating, Aries. So we're moving on to Taurus. So let's have a quick shuffle. Moving on to Taurus now. Okay, I hope you're staying nice and hydrated. Yes, people tea sippers all right doing a quick shuffle as we move on to taurus how are you all doing taurus i hope you're feeling good okay right okay right let's get into it right so moving on to Taurus now. Okay, I like having the um the the, the little clip signs, the little clip zodiac signs because it's really good to help me remember as well. Okay, yeah, have we done them all? Have we done them all? <laughs> all right, so we're moving on to Taurus now. Okay, so welcome Taurus, Wagwan Taurus, what's going on? Let's go and have a look. We're going to start with the Jamaican um, Proverbs. What's going on? What's their current feelings for you, Taurus? What's their current feelings for you, Taurus? Let's have a look. What's their current feelings for you? So we have, woi, again, a lot of kind of secrecy, 
how water a walk go in a pumpkin belly how water a walk can go in a pumpkin belly you're like what what's that what's that going on this simply means the pumpkin if we think of a pumpkin how does the fluids get into the pumpkin to make the pumpkin it's like get become really big and um have such a like rounded shape it's it's something that we still don't it's something that you might have to like things that you might look at and you might have a curiosity around it but you not you don't fully understand the science behind it you don't fully understand the mystery behind it now this is basically what this proverb is telling us that this person it we've, i've put here as like a high priestess mystery can't explain i feel like this person makes you curious about them it makes you really want to know more like why why are they the way they are and i feel like this is the energy that i get but i feel like with this person taurus it's like you having to trust your intuition trust how your trust your gut trust how you feel you know if if your intuition kicks in let's say sometimes your intuition can kick in through you feel mm, something not feel right your body might feel you, you might get like a sense or a a feeling or something that might be telling you maybe check this instead of that you know i feel like it's like really t tapping into your intuition and maybe some alone time where you can just meditate and just you know focus on like saying to yourself um universe give me give me the the answers that i need at this time to help me with this to help me with that guardian angels ancestors they can re you know it can really you can use that as another tool to help you to strengthen your intuition okay but i feel like so far there's a lot of mystery or this person is not really being honest they are not telling you how they truly feel okay so let's have a look at the tarot let's see what the tarot is saying about this person taurus oh two of wands in reverse two in wands of reverse so i feel like there is a feeling here with the two of wands being in reverse of not not looking to explore not looking to to, to kind of push any further i feel like this person is kind of resistant to make a move resistance to make a step now let's let's go and have a look why so i'm going to pull out the the chakra colors let's see what message from the chakras got to come out what's causing this resistance to take the to, to make the next move or make the next step what's causing this resistance oh so we have the root chakra so we have red so it's the the root chakra so i feel it's uh we have because we have different different colors for the red we have like the dark red and i feel like that's really deep deep rooted but it's it's kind of on the light so i feel like it could be some kind of fear about whether if you get to know this person on a deeper level will you accept them this is the energy that i'm getting okay i feel like this is the energy that there might be some things about not sure if you will like every part of them okay taurus this is what i'm kind of sensing so let's keep pulling up some messages so we've got the bush flower tower let's have a look and see what comes out okay what messages for, for tourists what additional messages they need to know right about this person what their current feelings are so strengthening one's will so this is the manga wara warata okay strengthening one's will so they're strengthening one's will strengthening one's will so i feel like this could be a sense of feeling i don't always say word stubborn but i feel like there could be an energy of stubbornness there could be a feeling of perhaps feeling like they need to stay strong I, this is what i'm kind of getting they may like feel need to, they need to stay strong and um, one second just checking the the camera because it seems like there might be something to do with the battery so give me a sec i'm gonna just stop it here and sort the battery out okay right battery's back on brilliant so i feel like this person may have some kind of 
issues I feel I feel like it could be a, a, a deep rooted issue around maybe their confidence it could be about coming forward stepping out of their comfort zone and I feel like their current feelings I feel like there, there are feelings but I feel like it's I feel like there's a fear of coming out of their stepping um there's a fear of stepping out of their comfort zone okay right so let's have a look at the psycho tarot oh cool let's see what additional message can come out regarding this person what their current feelings for you taurus let's have a look what are their current feelings something wants to come out what are their current feelings oh well, quite a few okay so love begins so i feel like there is love there is an energy of you know a love attraction new and, and opportunities for love but look we've got emotional loss so they're definitely holding on to something and i feel like that could be something that you might be sensing you might be sensing that there is something intuitively going on but i feel like there could be some energy of again because the root tracker is heavily here either there's been some kind of previous relationship or heartbreak that they haven't got over and they're still taking that time to work on it i feel like that is the energy here okay we've got look, look <laughs> okay those intuitive gems are coming out look at that there is definitely some chakra energy going on so i feel like I'm, I'm, you know the message that's coming to me it's not you it's not you it's not you I feel like there's some things deep rooted that this person needs to work on and I feel like that could be what could be impacting the situation at this time that they really need to work on that especially we've got um, the triumph success so that's like the ace of swords like the ace of swords and the ace of cups so I feel like if you can get over um, maybe through communication and talking especially maybe it could be like any shared any shared kind of ambitions any aspirations any dreams or things hopes that you both have I feel like that can help to break down those barriers okay with this person but i feel like it is a def it's a strong energy of like comfort zone or the and the fear of maybe being hurt again things like that that could be impacting this union okay so let's pull out a message from the spiritual guidance cupcake what's wants to come out from the spiritual guidance cupcake let's see what what wants to come out for taurus can we have a message please Oh, okay. So we have, oops, we have show, show your, look at this, show your, it was just talking about the, the Jamaican, Jamaican proverb about the, the pumpkin. And here we've got show your plants some love by talking to them. Show your plants some love by talking to them. And I feel that could be also a really good way to bring in more energy um you know caring nurturing energy and i feel like this person might have some kind of maybe nurturing kind of things that they have haven't maybe gone through maybe they haven't got over whether it could be maybe early in a like the early childhood or their inner child and i feel like it might f be a feeling of it might be based around their feelings of safety and security okay right love take a break and catch up on shows okay so this is a message for you taurus 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 who's taurus i don't know <laughs> it's taurus maybe <laughs> take a break and catch up on your shows okay so if you if you haven't had some time to just unwind you know take this message to just relax and unwind for yourself okay all right so you know last but not least we have just a clarification message using the good karma so for taurus can can we have a message please that they need to see the three of wands so growth growth can take place but i feel like 
is also who's willing to do it and I feel like now it's Tories that you know a little bit more about this person and you know there could be some issues around um, their root chakra I feel like it could maybe you know having a conversation about what what their childhood was like what did they enjoy you, you know what you know if they have their own children or they have they aspire to have their own family what would that look like to them because I feel like if you I feel like maybe having those conversations may help but I feel like it's also on their side they, there's there also has to be coming out of their comfort zone so I feel like something has to give to help you know but I feel like with the three of ones if there is like a way to kind of you know bridge that gap I feel like that you know success can can come if there is a I feel like it's I feel like there's a strong energy of feeling secure and feeling safe and I feel like if if there is a way Taurus you can you can create an element of safety or security and of course it has to come from a, a genuine place okay um, I feel like you know that can that can help to overcome any kind of barriers but again always trust your intuition okay all right so we're gonna move on to gemini let's have a move on to gemini quick shuffle keep sipping baby keep sipping baby okay right okay moving on to gemini baby Ooh. gemini baby Gemini got page of ones early as a message. Right, Gemini, baby. Gemini, baby. Gemini, baby. Ooh, Gemini, baby. Gemini, baby. Hang on. Gemini, baby. Gemini. Baby, Gemini, baby, Gemini, baby, Gemini, baby, Gemini. All right, so we are start moving on to Gemini. So Gemini, what does Gemini need to see right now regarding what are their current feelings? This. The, the person on their mind, what are their current feelings for them right now? What are their current feelings for them right now? Let's see if we can get a message from the Jamaican Proverbs. Son, okay. If you can't get turkey, you have to satisfy with a John Crow. Okay, so if you can't get the turkey, you have to satisfy with a John Crow. So the John Crow is basically the crow bird, okay? So if you can't get turkey right now, you have to be satisfied with having a crow okay that's the message here sometimes we don't always get what we want but be thankful for what you have so abundance can come to you so let's bear that in mind okay regarding this person and what their current feelings are so let's have a look and see what the tarot wants to tell us what does the tarot want to tell us gemini what does it want to tell gemini about this person what does it want to tell Gemini about this person? Can we have a look, please? So, I feel like the Knight of Pentacles being here, although my hand wants to pull this, we've got the Knight of Swords in reverse. So there may be very slow communication, but I feel like the Knight of Pentacles is saying what their current feelings are is that they might be there might be a kind of like a slowness in how they're communicating because I feel like this person might like to I, I feel like it's also an overthinking I feel like this person may be an overthinker and perhaps you might have also you might be also your energy Gemini but I feel like this person could be overthinking do they like me do you know am I, have I, am I, am I coming too strong am I coming too strong you know and I feel like maybe this this person has also been ghosted in the past so I feel like this person feels like I let me say what I need to say 
to create intrigue, to cause um, curiosity, but not give too much away, not to overshare it. This is what I'm kind of getting. And then the thought of maybe you might not want to keep seeing me again. Maybe you might not want to take time to know me if I give too much too early. Because we've got the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Swords can be quite fast in like in the delivery. It's like, but it's, it's in reverse. So I feel like this could be like, this person's like, mm, you know what? I enjoy conversation with you, but I'm gonna take a Knight of Pentacles approach, which is like the Knight of Pentacles represents that like, the slowest any, the slowest knight in the deck. And I feel like this is what this person is doing at this time, is thinking, mm, yeah, let me let me try and give a more thought, like a like let me think everything through, a well-rounded thought way of doing it i hope that's making sense okay so i feel like they're trying to they're trying to act cool by not by not giving too much not a messaging but i feel like with the gemini energy you enjoy the back and forth the back and forth but i feel like this person's thinking i enjoy that too but if i give too much away will they Will they kind of not be interested in me anymore? This is the energy I'm getting. So let's have a look and keep seeing what wants to come out in the cards. So we'll start with the Psycho Tarot. Let's see what it wants to tell us. What does it want to tell Gemini? What does Gemini need to know? Additional clues, please, about this person. Ooh, wow. Okay, so there could be something to do with material and spiritual prosperity okay interesting all right and awareness so there's definitely something to do with awareness something to definitely something to do with spiritual strength so there could be i feel like there could be just this overall energy of not wanting to give too much away but i feel like they're still trying to stay cool act cool but not not give too much away that might make you f make you back off um or brag or brag about the things that they have i feel like maybe they might have done things like that before and it didn't work so i feel like now they might be taking a new approach to speaking to people or of a love interest or anything like that so i feel like they might be kind of i'm kind of getting like testing the waters to see how, if how well it works on the gemini I hope that's making sense okay all right but i feel like with this there might be like an interest in spirituality or like talking about the world's wonders so that could be maybe a way to kind of help them to open up a bit more as well gemini okay right so let's pull a message from the bush flower the australian bush flower deck let's see what message wants to come out for Gemini right so we have two that came out we got the wild potato bush aren't those these flowers really pretty okay the wild potato bush okay eases the frustration of physical restriction or limitation eases the frustration of physical restriction or limitation so there could be some energy you know i feel like maybe this could also be telling that there could be like some um chemistry sexual energy going on but i feel like this there could be like trying to restrict trying to like, again with the knight of pentacles trying to stay reserved trying to keep calm trying to act cool because they don't want to give too much away okay or the fear of giving too much away in, yes okay especially i'm noticing six as well can represents harmony balance trying to seek a balance nine you know that nine can represent you know that like a pair i feel like it's giving me a pairing like confident in their in their own uniqueness or their own um individual in their own individual self okay Oh, okay with the green spider orchard okay is telepathic communication so telepathic communication releases past life phobias so 
I feel like the message is here because we had earlier about um, that they may be trying to you know stay and act cool because maybe pre previously they would just go on yap 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 away kind of thing and it didn't really work out it, re it didn't really work out and I feel like now they're trying to like yeah you know I'm feeling Gemini I'm feeling Gemini I'm really liking Gemini but right now I want to stay and act cool so they could be selling you they could be selling you interesting I said selling you there could be something to do with selling um, or trying to um, say oh there's this going on or a ticket going on are you interested but I feel like this you know I feel like the telepathic could be they could be trying to communicate their communicate with you telepathically either be like either like saying oh I hope Gemini calls me I hope Gemini sends me a text and I feel like they could be looking at their phone um I'm also kind of getting the message they might be like trying to they try they might be trying to manifest you in without them doing too much because I feel like this person may feel like this because maybe in the past they've done this before where they've tried to really like show a lot of interest but then it doesn't materialize so I feel like this person kind of there, there are feelings there but I feel like they're reserving trying to hold back those feelings okay and I hope this is making sense collective so let's pull out a message from the good karma deck let's see what the good karma deck is trying to say or tell us additional messages please for Gemini yes look you see so we've got the moon we've got the pages of swords you see so they could be w looking at messages they could be watching on social media they may be trying to gather as much information and you know trying to act cool from the from the background but there's feelings there they're just not saying it they're not expressing it okay then we have the two of swords so the two of swords again i feel like it's it, it's like around the options you know trying to seek a balance in the, the, their decision making and i feel like their decisions is trying to stay in in this energy for as as long as 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 much as possible but i feel like it's also it could be i'm getting strategy and it could be some kind of strategy if they've maybe they could i feel like they could have been listening to some kind of dating advice um and trying to like use that dating advice to kind of strategize you i hope that's making sense gemini so i feel like it could be perhaps in the past they, when it comes to getting to know someone dating someone you know if this is someone new or if this someone is if this is someone from your recent past or there's been a separation i feel like they could be looking at social media with the page of swords trying to suss out things they could be even writing um how they could you know try to say something or hold a conversation that will allure you or keep you interested keep you engaged okay um and i feel like with the moon being here they're also not sh they're, they're trying to do as much without giving much if that makes sense okay so i hope that's really i hope that's making sense i'm going to pull out the um i'm going to pull out the shack and let's see what color wants to come out as well okay so a a solar plexus just one second yes confidence the solar plexus came out and that's all about confidence and then the root chakra came out which is all about sense of security okay and i feel like there is some deep rooted deep rooted sense of um like maybe fears around security feeling safe feeling secure as well as their um the confidence and i feel like maybe this person they could be very attractive but i feel like they may have not always been fortunate in when it comes to love or dating things like that so i feel like they're trying to they're trying to keep cool stay cool by maybe trying to see how much information they can find out about you not giving too much away but trying to stay mysterious as they can 
okay and and giving giving so much to keep you intrigued because i hope that's making sense gemini about what their current feelings are for you right now okay so we are going to move on to cancer now we're going to look into cancer and see what's going oh yes what's going on with cancer but before we do uh, we're going to do a quick look on a uh, quick message for gemini i forgot see quick look for gemini let's see what wants to come out for the spiritual guidance cupcake and these could just be any like random different messages okay let's see All right so let's have a quick look for gemini before we move on to cancer think like a jamaican a small island a dot on the world map figured out how to still be yeah figured how to still still um so, all right let me start it again let me start it again <laughs> Rewind. <laughs> so think like a jamaican and like think like a jamaican a small island a dot on the world map figured out how to sh still shine you've got this and don't let anything stop you from shining you hear that you hear that so gemini if you know i feel like some of you needed to hear that you know especially with this situation here trust your intuition trust your intuition okay and i feel like also give time to give time to those things that prioritize you as well all right so we're going to move on to cancer now right so let's move on to cancer sip on that tea baby mm. And stay hydrated and sip on that tea, baby. Ooh, sip on that tea. We're gonna do a quick shuffle for the cards, baby. Yeah, ooh, all oh, signs reading. Sip on that tea, baby. <laughs> so we are going it now we're moving on to cancer baby yes cancer we're doing a quick shuffle before we move on to it all right all right moving on to cancer okay just likes to shuffle them all okay all right Ooh message wants to come out all right so we are moving on to cancer i think we've shuffled them all let's start with the jamaican proverb so what does the jamaican proverb want to tell cancer at this time cancer Ooh, okay so we have peacock the peacock hiding foot when him hear about him tail so the peacock hiding foot okay this can also be in like jamaican pat was synonymous with feet okay so foot feet we you know hide foot in fighting foot in hiding feet okay but it's basically saying like the peacock hiding feet when him hear about him tail okay so let's 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 go and find out what this is meaning but i i feel like it's just already saying that there can be like not always being forthcoming with sharing information and sharing their true feelings okay so being too proud being too proud stops you from growing okay so don't stop yourself from learning pride so i feel like there is a strong energy of pride here okay with the 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 peacock hiding feet when him hear about him tail so there's some kind of strong energy about pride okay that we need to know about okay so we're gonna bear that in mind so let's have a look cancer what's going on what's, what's their current feelings for you Ooh. okay that's never happened before but i feel with that there's look the two of there's the two of pentacles here so i feel like it's something to do with decisions um and it could be um not always feeling confident in making decisions okay look again to this look there's definitely something about could we 
the two of pentacles popped out now the two of swords so i feel like cancer your energy is making them feel very flustered at this time very flustered at this time but i feel like there could be with the two the two of pentacles the two of, there could be maybe more than one option i feel like there could if you may have been sensing that i feel like maybe there could be somebody else but i feel like your your feeling you i feel like your energy towards them is what's making them feel like they don't know who i'm kind of getting they're not sure what to do next or how to navigate this but i feel like there is something going on here and it could be even if it's not another person it could be it could be them also knowing that they need to make a decision but i feel like they might be trying to keep their head down in projects or work or things like that and they may be trying to use that as some kind of excuse to to or to to put forward towards you when you you know maybe when you're like engaging in conversation but i feel like that could be also another way that they try to look busy rather than say how they how they truly feel so it kind of keeps you cancer on your toes i hope that is making sense okay so let's keep we're going to keep on digging we're going to keep on digging and seeing what what messages wants to come out okay let's start with the the uh, psychic tarot oracle let's see for cancer what's going on here what's going on with this person we're seeing a lots of twos so you might be seeing lots of two two twos as 22s as well this this confidence this this um this sorry it's the sorry it's the sacral chakra so there's something to do with their sexual um s sexual energy there could be some kind of suppression or um I feel like it could also be some kind of confidence and I feel like maybe because look 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 at that two 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 so you might have been seeing two two twos you know there is a read on the channel why you seen two two twos have a look there but I feel like there is something definitely something i feel like your energy maybe conversating with you has unsettled them but i feel like it may have unsettled them in areas that they may have not they may have not been ready or it might have been something to do with their pride it may be something to do with opening up expressing themselves and i feel like it could be the 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 nature of the the cancer the cancer's energy you know i feel like the, the it it, something is unsettling them that's all i'm get, getting is the energy of feeling very unsettled at this time okay let's have a look at the chakra as well we're gonna have a look and see what color wants to come out because we've got the we've got the sacral chakra but let's see what else wants to come out what wants to come out so we've got the crown we've got we've got the crown i'm sorry we've got the communication blue for communication so they are not communicating how they feel they are not communicating how they feel and i feel like that's what's creating a suppression energy but that suppression energy is going straight into the sacral energy of their um their sexual energy that energy to to bring that chemistry out and i feel like you might be intuitively sensing that at this time okay so let's keep on digging let's keep on digging so for some more clues about this person okay this one wants to come out let's see this one as well look look decisiveness decisiveness clear mindedness and focus attention so the jacaranda flower decisiveness clear mindedness and focused attention and i feel like this is i feel like the energy that i'm getting let's just have a look here life direction and purpose um with the silver princess let's put that one out I feel like this person here, there may be some kind of issues around their sexual confidence and I feel like that is creating a suppression of when they do get feelings or they get feelings for someone or they're having feelings of attractiveness for you cancer, I feel like they try to keep bed there, keep their head down in their work, keep their head down in things that they know 
very well that works for them rather than coming forward and saying how they truly feel because I feel like that's the it's the worry that if it if you um if you don't really like what you see externally and as you try to get to know them I feel like it will it's a pride thing and I feel like they'll rather I'm getting the saying they rather die in they rather die in in um in pride than to die in shame I hope that's making sense but this is what I'm getting with the silver princess life direction and purpose alpine mint bosch revitalize revitalization of caregivers and decisiveness so there's definitely some kind of like decision okay and i feel like it's it's the energy of them coming forward i remember in that th that that saying about i rather die in shame than to sorry i rather die in pride than to die in shame this is that that's the energy i'm getting here with, with for this person okay so let's have a look at um no we'll start we'll look at the tarot just to clarify everything um before we do the spirit Ooh. three of coins and the knight of thing knight of cups so i feel like with the three of the three of pentacles and the knight of cups perhaps i feel like it could be maybe like doing something if there's a possibility of doing some kind of joint activity a group or talking to someone I feel like maybe that can help to lighten the load but I feel like they feel more like this when they are with you so this could be someone for some of you not for not all of you um collective but for some of you cancer this could be someone that you know at work I feel like this could be someone that you know at work this is the energy now that I'm getting now with the three of pentacles it could be someone you know at work or it could be someone that you know um, and you have you may share a similar kind of like environment work environment or things like that but i feel like this person does have those feelings but is trying to keep those feelings cool but i feel like maybe like a joint venture or activity may help you know for some of you who are in engagement with this person but i feel like this that whole feeling about rather die in pride than die in shape could be the for the fear of if it doesn't go well you know i feel like they might have oh i don't want to have egg on my face and ha ha look at you blah 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 you was trying to get jade <laughs> how how did that work for you and i feel like that there's a strong energy of fear of like should i make this choice should i do this should i should i should i come forward but i feel like in, if you're watching this intuitively you are sensing that there's something going on here with this person so i feel like you know sit as cancer sit tight and you know just continue being your your badass self cancer keep loving keep showing you know you know cancers you're a very loving and caring type of people so i feel like keep being your badass self and you know let the as they say let the let the things fall i want to say let the something fall if you know put it in the comments for me but i feel it's like let them let those things fall so then you know eventually it will start to kind of unfold itself okay so before we come to a close for cancer let's have a quick spiritual guidance message from the spiritual guidance cupcake right what do they need to know what do they need to know oh okay write four affirmations cancer for yourself starting with i am and say it to yourself before you go to bed three times so for three times okay write for um read out three times four affirmations for yourself starting with i am and say it to yourself before you go to bed okay so it could be something like i'm amazing i'm abundant i am blessed okay i'm highly favored i'm so thankful everything is always working in my favor something like that okay and repeat it three times right go on a weekend break cancer so if you've been thinking of a if you've been thinking of going on a break or things like that this is a good time cancer go on a weekend break and it might help you to you know have that time to reflect away from the situation and just see if this person is someone that you want to continue to explore okay all right so we are now moving on to leo Thank you, Cancer. We are moving now on to Leo. So we're going to do a quick shuffle. 
and we are moving, moving, moving to Leo. Keep sipping. Mm -hmm. And you got to stay hydrated. Right. We are moving on to Leo. Just doing a quick shuffle. Okay. Might just keep them all here actually. Makes it easier to get them all. All right. So let's start with an Australian card. So for Leo, what are their current feelings for Leo? Ooh, okay. These wanted to come out. So we're just gonna quickly go go all over them. Go yeah, so quickly go on all over the all over them. Leo, you know what I'm talking about. We're just gonna go through them all. <laughs> right, Sydney Rose. So the Sydney Rose we've got realizing that we are all one that there is no separation that there is no separation so there could be some separation issues here okay for leo let's see what else leo needs to know the pink flannel flower so having gratitude for everything in your life and keeping one's heart chakras open so we had separation keeping heart the heart chakra open okay being thankful okay red helmet orchard so clears father authority issues and helps father bonding okay so there could be some father root chakra heart chakra going on separation billy goat plum aren't these flowers from australia so it's just amazing right releases shame accepts acceptance of self and one's physical body so there could be a lot lot going on here leo um dog rose confidence and courage okay and crystal christmas bell helps one to manifest their desired outcomes so there is a lot of messages here leo regarding this person so let's see what the tarot wants to tell us now let's see okay okay temperance in reverse temperance in reverse is telling me that there is a feeling here with this person leo of feeling spiritually disconnected spiritually imbalanced but i feel like these imbalances is from previous previous scenarios in this person's life so i feel like now you are coming you are coming now leo and meeting this person this person may have some fire energy as well with, with the temperance of that sagittarius energy they may they may not have to but i feel like this person you're meeting this person at this time or communicate with this person but or there has been a separation with this person but i feel like this person i'm getting i'm getting the message i feel imbalanced without you I don't feel I'm not the same something has gone so I feel like if you because I feel like there are several messages for for all of these messages to come out there's several messages so let's start with the separation first I feel like if there is a um, separation for Leo there's definitely a feeling of feeling like I'm getting their their rib is gone like there is something is missing they feel like since you're since there's been some separation or time apart they can they don't feel nothing feels the same anymore and i feel like maybe the time apart has helped them to realize wow well, leo was leo was somebody valuable in my life leo was somebody someone really good in my life and i feel like they now the time apart has made them realize that even more okay and that's for a separation um scenario for right so for the other stories that i feel like that's going on with heart chakra and opening i feel um opening up and confidence i feel like maybe this person enjoys getting to know you but i feel like they might be especially with the leo energy the leo energy can can at times can be very strong very enduring alluring intimidating 
you know, as well as can come across very strict, like sexually strong. And I feel like this, there could be some energy here for the um, Leo that this person may not feel they could match your energy. And I feel like maybe at times they wonder about whether they are good enough for you. This is the energy that I'm getting. So let's have a look on um, in the chakras because we saw heart chakra and, and like confidence issues. Let's see what else wants to come out. Ooh. Okay, communication. So I feel like with um, the blue coming out, which is represents the throat chakra, there could be things that are not being said. Okay, and I feel like I feel like Leo, you have to read between the lines with this person. Okay, you really have to t t tap into your intuition energy and read between the lines with this person because I feel like this person is not giving much way. But you've got to read between the lines and sense what's going on. Okay, work out is it if there is a real interest there, or or, or to sense out if this person does this person really want to communicate but they're kind of stuck in their own head about whether you will you'll be attracted to them whether you will see them as an ideal partner this is what i'm getting with the temperance in reverse okay all right let's pull out a message from the psychic oracle about this person for leo so what else does the leo need to know regarding this person what are their current feelings for leo what are their current feelings for leo see again messages want to come out look at this so we have memories of love memories of love victory and success i feel like something else wanted to come out let's have a look yes i knew it was yes patience victory and success patience memories and love so i feel like maybe this person is wanting to take their time wanting to take their time with you to see to see whether you know it can grow and blossom but i feel like that it's also because it's coming from a place of of, I feel like it's a place of anxiety because look we've got lots of sixes and the sixes represents that harmony seeking harmony I feel like they want they want it to work I feel like they want it to work but I feel like there is kind of this um, maybe a fear as well if I say too much do too much will the Leo like me will the Leo like me will the, is I um, and I feel like they might have some issues around their body or their, um, how sexual or confidence they come across. And I feel like they might see you, the Le Le see you Leo, as like um, the lioness, you know, the lioness of the zodiac signs, you know, confident in your own skin. And even if you might not always come across kind of confident in your own skin, but I feel like for them, they see, this is what they see you as. And I feel like they that might make them feel a particular way. Right, did we pull out a Jamaican proverb? No, we didn't. So we're going to pull out a Jamaican proverb. Let's see what the Jamaican proverb wants to tell Leo. Oh, again, several, there's lot, several messages here. Right. So we've got, be ready with your hat, but slow with your money. Be ready with your hat, but slow with your money. So this simply means be ready with your hat, but slow with your money. So watch your money transactions and don't be scammed don't be scammed okay so this message is like um to, as a as a reminder so just you know use your due diligence in this scenario so i feel like this is what's going on here okay and again that message read between the lines as we said earlier read between the lines with this person okay now we have the bucket are well with water but one day the bottom of the bucket must drop out. This simply means a bucket can all can be really full to the rim with water. But one day, if if that if that you know if that but that bucket keeps getting overfilled, overfilled, the bottom of the bucket may just completely fall out, and all the water will just be completely, um, you know, would completely just drop in or and um, drain out okay now this could also create a feeling of being overwhelmed so looking after yourself 
um, showing yourself self-love, stress. So I feel like this could be what's going on with this person as well. They may be feeling very overwhelmed at this time and don't know how to express it. Okay. Um, one finger can't kill lice. One finger alone can't kill lice. So this simply means one finger can't, it's like, you, you know, one finger can't do everything. So work in a group. No man or woman is a island. Seek help from others. Um, and when working on a project um, at home or work. So maybe something to do with working on a project could maybe help or a way to kind of bring this person to open up a bit more um, about, you know, maybe how they truly feel. Okay. And we got, um, if you can't get turkey, this was, this was for cancer, I think. If you can't get turkey, you you have to be satisfied with the John Crow. Okay. So, sometimes we don't always get what we want. Be thankful for what you have so abundance can come to you. So, I feel like these, all these messages here is really kind of Leo saying trust your intuition on this one read between the lines okay read between the lines I feel like there's more than one story going on here but I feel like it's really saying to trust your intuition and read between the lines with what's going on okay and I feel like it's kind of also telling me it could be it could be more than there's a saying it can be more than what you what you can buy and chew Okay, with this person, there could be more to it than what you can buy and chew. And I feel like you've got to ask yourself, um, are you ready for, are you ready for um, something that could maybe require a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of patience? Okay, Leo, I feel like that's what you've got to ask yourself that, you know. Okay. So. Oh, no, 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 we haven't finished yet. So. We've got one more, um, two more messages. So we're going to pull out a, an additional message just to clarify for um, the messages for Leo. Leo, can we have a message for Leo, please, regarding this situation, regarding this person and what their current feelings are? Six of Cups. So what I feel like the Six of Cups can be also here as a reminder as if you, Leo, if you are a person that can get caught up in the focusing on the, what the good old days were what the past was like with this person if there is a separation I feel like it's also saying to rem to be mindful of making sure you have a balanced view on the whole situation and I feel like this is what could the temperance could be here for as well is if this person now was that you can you can focus on the good things and the things that you enjoy the things that you remember but I feel like it's saying right now remember all the other things that you didn't particularly like because then it's going to help you to outweigh and again is it more than you can chew is it more that you can buy and chew okay read between the lines is there more going on that you've seen that you didn't particularly like because there could I feel like there's red flags here there could be things that was spiritually there's like a spiritual disconnect and I feel like the six of cups could be that reminder that don't get caught up in that spiritual disconnect when it comes to this person I hope that's making sense okay right so let's have a quick look on the spiritual guidance message what what messages do you want to tell Leo at this time what does Leo need to know collective what does Leo need to know what does Leo need to know let's see so we have, get your dancing shoes on. Get your dancing shoes on, Leo. You need to get out there. I feel like this, this is this kind of like, you again, read between the lines. You trust your intuition. But I feel like I'm getting a lot of, a lot of energy of like time, patience. And you've got to ask yourself, Leo, is this really aligned with you and your, you know, what you want for yourself? Okay. All right. So we're going to move on to Virgo. So thank you very much, Leo. Thank you very much. I can see the candles are going to need an update. So let's have a look. So we're moving on to Virgo now. For the old signs read. So stay hydrated. 
for the old signs read at Walgreens Tarot and Tea. Right. Okay. Doing a quick shuffle on them all. Okay. Quick shuffle. Quick shuffle. Quick shuffle and everything, and we are moving. Thank you, Leo. Moving on to Virgo. <clears throat> what you sipping on today? Put it in the comments, collective. Put it into the comments. And for any new subscribers, any new watchers, welcome, welcome. Come and join. Come and join the Love and Light family at Wagwan Taranti. Okay, we have lots of like. Um, interesting content for you we've got shorts um, like short form content we have long form content um, like pick a card readings podcasts you name it so come come and come and join come and join the love and light family okay come and join the love and light family <laughs> all right so Let's have a look. We're starting with Virgo now. We're going to start with the Psychic Tarot deck. So let's have a look at the Psychic Tarot deck. What do you need to know? What do you need to know, Virgo, about this person? What are their current feelings for you? What are your What are their current feelings for you right now? What are their current feelings for you right now? Okay, so we have Destiny mental conflict interesting so 10 and 2 10 can represent completion a cycle and 2 can represent making decisions seeking balance now I feel like this mental this destiny and mental conflict you know I feel like this person could have there could be some deep deep rooted feelings about making decisions I feel like this could be also coming from things that they may see seen things they may have observed things they have, may have witnessed Virgo that they may be I feel like it could be some root deep rooted chakra energy that they could be struggling with um, and I feel like maybe this person may have issues around expressing truly how they feel and I feel and I feel like it's also saying and conveying that message in a clear and concise way. I I'm also kind of getting maybe how they how they deal with their emotions is to avoid rather than to express and to open up vulnerably in in a vulnerable way like to just say this is how I feel about you Jane. This is, you know, I'm not I'm not, you know, I'm being honest with my feelings. This is how I'm feeling for you and I hope you, you know, even if you don't feel the same way, I hope, you know, it's okay for me to just say, this is how I feel um, without no, no feelings or, you know, um, or not trying to make you feel any way. I just want to tell you, this is how I feel. And if you, if you're not interested, that's okay. But I just feel like I needed to say anyway, I feel like this is kind of the area that they, they struggle with. Okay. So we're going to keep on looking. Um, Virgo and see what's going on here so let's pull out a Jamaican proverb what Jamaican proverb does Virgo need to know at this time for this person what pro Jamaican proverb I thought okay let's pull out this one so we got book learning and our intelligence book learning and our intelligence this simply means that we can't gather everything from books we cannot gather everything from books so I feel like if this person May have been trying to gather or you might have also been trying to gather stuff from what you can find online or what you can find from about them um through maybe social media or i feel like this is kind of like saying with the destiny and the mental conflict this is where the struggle could be because it's like those missing gaps has to come from really communicating like and heart to heart conversations but i feel like that's where the struggle is is to have heart heart to heart conversations and when people are closed closed up or 
you know th those are the areas where they struggle so they you know it's sometimes it's easier to then try and find out as much as you can about a love interest or um someone you know through other like third party but i feel like this is like no i need to we need to find out information we need to find out information about this person through heart to heart conversations but heart to heart conversations means opening up and i feel like this is where the struggle is so look be self-aware learn from others and your environment you can't get all of your learning from books yes we can't get all of our learning so um the the other one that came out if you can't catch if you can't catch quackle you have to catch it catch him shirt so this simply means that if you're trying to get somebody um and you and you can't catch that you can't catch your opponent or you can't catch that interest you can find another ways to catch this person and i feel like this is kind of saying be strategic you know be strategic um you know, but it can also signify revenge or getting your own back so i feel like with the mental conflict if there is let's say if there is for not for, and not for all of you but if there is for some of you where there is there's been a separation or something like that i feel like maybe this person could also be trying to seek information via third parties like maybe maybe a friend of a friend or a mutual friend to try and get some information and to find out what's going on um about you or it could be vice versa as well but i feel like in terms of saying how they truly feel, I feel like there's a hold, there a hold, there's a hold there, and trying, and I feel like that energy of trying to find out as much as they can, or watching, like social media, seeing if there's anything that comes up on. Let's say if you've got WhatsApp, um, uh, like, that's what I'm kind of getting, like social media, just trying to look up social media and see what's going on there. Um, let's have a look um, at. Um, what's going on with the chakra energy as well let's have a look what wants to come out oh the crown okay so look at this the crown the crown intuition i feel like your intuition energy is very strong at this time but i feel like this person's intuition might be also quite they might be also quite clued up as well and i feel like they might they might be going on you know trusting or um how how things are feeling or how their body is sensing but i feel like um there's a lot of kind of into into intuitively communicating with one another so i feel like this this this, this union there's a lot of communicating but not through words but spiritually communicating through telepathic messages okay and i feel like it could be also me i'm kind of getting and this might not be for everybody but i feel like i'm getting this energy of like you know when you go to look on your phone um you may see that person's come up on their phone as well or you can see that they're online at a particular time and i feel like that could that's what could be going on that the, maybe the two of you are doing that and and realizing that and then maybe <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe going on looking on somebody's page or looking at somebody's picture and you're like oh no they're online let me turn it off <laughs> this is what i'm kind of getting okay this might be for some of you okay so let's have a look at the tarot now let's see what the tarot is saying let's see what the tarot is saying okay so we have the four of wands here so there is an energy of love there is an energy of um i feel like this person could have maybe have seen may have also seen you as somebody that they they could they could have a long-term relationship commitment um like have new beginnings with you know i feel like this could this could be going on but i feel like with destiny being here i feel like it's going to if there needs to be a break as much as maybe there's like intuitive and um, communication going on there needs to be a break in that and having more of a physical 
3D, face-to-face, heart-to-heart conversations because I feel like that's what is going to help you to get to that four of ones. So you might be seeing 1111s, you might be seeing 111s, you might be seeing 444s, okay? You might be just seeing synchronicities in general um, or twos or tens. But I feel like Virgo, there has to be more, they can't just, you know, this relationship, for it to prosper, it has to have you have to have those 3d physical conversations and coming together and being opening up about how you truly feel for one another okay so let's have a look at the let's have a look at the um australian bush oracle messages let's see what messages wants to come out for virgo Okay, so we have clear, the boab, the boab flower. So we have Claire's negative family and karmic patterns. Claire's negative family and karmic patterns. So there could be some karmic, some family rooted in it. Like we've got the crown that came out. Um, and I feel like it's always like, always trying to have one over, always trying to have, to be 10 steps ahead. But I feel like there's no need. Is that's coming? I feel like they're still coming across in some kind of fear. Like there's, you know, it's like not wanting to open up too much because it's like almost tries to use how much they can find from this. And it could be also you, Virgo, doing this. How much you you're trying to find out as much as you can about this person, so you don't have to open up so much. And then it'd be like, okay, well, I'm glad I, that's why. I'm glad I didn't open up now because at least I know this about them or I saw this information about them online. But I feel like, uh, you know, you can you can use that as, as intelligence to help you to kind of like, okay, maybe they have these interests, they have that. But I feel like it's really going to have to have heart to heart conversations for it to to progress, even if, it, if you know, if you want it to progress to a, the four of ones energy. Okay, so on the, on that note let's keep um let's pull a message from the good karma what additional message do you have for virgo regarding this situation this union Woo, that wanted to fly out look at this you see it's back to that the six of pentacles it has to be a give and receive receive and give give and receive it has to be a two-way process and i feel like virgo this is what's going to happen so you know if this is somebody that you're interested in and i feel like there is an interest here um and we've got look that kind of virgo energy with the the six of pentacles that earth for the earth signs okay yeah it has to be you know if you're gonna give it it has to be a mutual thing you know it has to be a two-way process a two-way process look at the twos the tens the fours two-way process and the six there has to be a balance in this and I feel like, you know, trusting your intuition on this and just recognizing that, you know, whoever you're talking to, if there's, uh, if it's, it's someone from the past or if it's, it's someone in the present who's coming out, it's a new union. It has to be a two way, you know, and I feel like there could be something around boundaries, creating healthy boundaries as well to allow a two way process to cut, to, you know, unfold itself. Okay. So let's have a message from the, Spiritual Guidance Cupcake. What do Virgo need to know? What additional message Virgo need to know regarding this person or just, just for themselves in general? Can we have a message please? Oh, two came out. So for Virgo, let's see. So Virgo, we have write four affirmations for yourself, starting with I am and say it to yourself before you go to bed and do this three times so write four affirmations for yourself starting with i am and say it to yourself before you go to bed and do this three times so if you can say like i am amazing i am amazing i am amazing i am brilliant i am brilliant i am brilliant yeah okay right let's see what we have here we've got meditate for five minutes before you before you go to bed um, 
and tell yourself of oh, five minutes before you before you get at oh before you get up so you could do it before you go to bed or or, or um, when you get before you get up and just tell yourself that you are so thankful I'm so thankful for for today and focus on the good things that happened and say it was such a lovely day because yeah and I feel that will help you to stay grounded and I feel like it will help you to stay connected and see what's important and it will maybe also help you to reflect on this re union this relationship you know um this person that you may have feelings for you know are they willing to put in the work just like you are willing to put the work in okay because it's you know a relationship is a two-way process okay so to virgo okay i hope the messages are resonating Okay, so we're going to be moving on to Libra. So thank you very much, Virgo. So I'm going to take a quick break here just to update the candles. And then we're going to be coming, we're going to be coming back with Libra. Okay. So, all right. So we are back, back. We've got some nice refilled candles for you all as we continue for the last six reads of part of the your signs okay so we have libra scorpio sagittarius capricorn aquarius and pisces left so we are moving on to libra okay so let's have a look and see what libra needs to know at this time okay so let's start with the jamaican proverb oh okay Libra, we have crab in a barrel, climb upon one another. Cla crab in a barrel, climb upon one another. This simply means if you've got crabs all in a barrel, they will all try to climb on one another. But this is, can be a sign of telling us about jealousy. It can be a sign of competition, okay? Um, so we're going to bear that in mind regarding what are their current feelings for you right now. And we have every cave hole have him on doppy every cave hole have him on doppy now doppy in jamaican culture is can be like a spiritual entity a ghost okay now this can also represent like the um the idea that you know everybody can have their own skeletons okay it's just where they, where they hide in it. Okay, where they hide in it. Nah. <laughs> That's the question. Okay, but I feel like it's kind of saying, you know, everyone has their own skeletons. So Libra, bear this in mind. Okay, we've got some kind of feelings of competition. Um, there may be some jealousy, but there's also someone. Uh, everybody has their own skeleton, so we need to keep that in mind. Okay. Right, so let's look, let's look at the tarot. What is the tarot saying? What is this tarot saying? The Empress. The Empress. So, competition, jealousy. Everyone has their own skeletons. And then, what are their feelings? And the Empress comes out. But I feel like the Empress is also here. Because I feel like there's a... Um, I feel like this person likes to come across squeaky clean. This is the message that I'm kind of getting. I feel like they like to come across squeaky clean. But I feel like the more you come to find Libra. And I feel like Libra, you don't have like a particular issue. Because I feel like, you know, Libra is the energy of the balance. And, you know, there might be a, sometimes like a serious side to you. Or maybe a not so serious side to you. Maybe a cheeky side to you. Not so cheeky side. But I feel like it's the, it's, you know, it's the balance of it all. But I feel like what might be triggering or kind of not in agree. I'm going to get not in agree. In, not in agreeing with you. It could be just this person's um, maybe likes to come across in a way that they've got everything together but i feel like the more you the more i feel like the more you try to get to know them on a deeper level i feel like that's when you notice there is more that them more than more than what meets the eye but i feel like i i feel like this could also be what could be creating a competitive streak because i feel like 
they want to have one over you and you are trying to have one over them is that making sense but i feel like not in a way like you're trying to compete one with one another but i feel like it's it com- it's coming across like you're competing with one another because it's almost like okay well i said this now what are you going to tell me now rather than right we're just having a conversation and we're just taking time to get to know one another what's wrong with that but i feel like this person is kind of how their delivery or how they're coming across is really making you feel like do i even really want to get to know this person anymore this is the energy i'm getting so let's keep let's keep pulling um let's just have a look as well what's going on here well, like this this empress because maybe there could be some motherly motherly issues as well going around but let, uh, going in this scenario let's have a keep let's have a quick look um regarding this person queen of wands but i feel like this look so i feel like this person may want to kind of come across in a way like yeah you know um um very like nurturing loving or on on initial maybe when you get to know them but i feel like there's an air, also an energy of i don't give up <laughs> i don't give up <laughs> and i feel like the more you get to tap into that any i feel like the more you get to know them i feel like you kind of see that side that they don't really like people seeing but i, I, I th this is interesting but i feel like there's also an energy of despite that they don't really like that but i like people seeing that but i feel like because intuitively you can sense that you know come on let's keep it real let's be real now let's be real now i know you're not like that why are you why are you trying to pretend you like this when you know you know you don't like this but i feel like it's also makes them more sexually attracted to you let's have a look let's have a look and see wagwan because this you know <laughs> you know this might be for some of you not all of you but let's have a look okay um let's pull out a message from the psychic tarot oracle let's see what's going on with libra please let's see what's going on with Lib um, libra's um person what 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 are their current feelings for them what are their current feelings for them emotional loss an accelerated motion interesting you see look with the king of wands as well fast energy but then there's the feeling of emotional loss now i feel like is you know this could be where maybe the energy of the queen of wands trying to like act like they don't give a kit don't give a toss about things um so to, to give a toss that's like in, in um, the English is kind of like saying you just don't give a care you don't you don't care you know you're not showing any interest but then at the same time that I feel like this could be the Empress could be the maybe either the Empress is their true energy um, or you know they they go they go from they go from I care I don't care I care I don't care and I feel like this could be maybe some way of dealing with feelings of loss feelings with emotional loss okay this gives me the five of cups energy okay but at the same time there's like an eight of ones energy they enjoy the conversations they enjoy but i've um in communicating or oh, they may have you know the desire of wanting to communicate further and express but i feel like there is also this fear of if i don't want to give too much away i don't want to invest too much time and then it may not it may just fizzle out so I feel like that could be, they may give the impression like they don't care to see how much, and this is where I feel like the competition is coming in. They may give that impression that they don't care to see how much you are willing to engage with them. I hope that's making sense, but this is the energy that I'm really getting from um, um, from this person, Libra. It's like they're, they're doing it in a way to see if i tell you so if i tell you so much or if i if i act avoidance or if i act will, will you still want to get to know me are you still willing to see everything about me and not just the not just the good but are you willing to see my 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 duppy my duppy my ghost my my skeletons are you you know how 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 much do you really want to know me how much do you really want to know me 
and how much willing this is kind of what I'm getting but I feel like it's coming from a place of this this five of cups energy this um, feeling of like I've been hurt I've been done but I've been done wrong in the past and I'm sometimes I can go into the Empress energy of oh yeah I'm caring and you know supportive and then sometimes I can go in this Queen of Wands energy where I don't give a <laughs> I don't give a <laughs> okay and I feel like this person but it's again it's back into a strong maternal energy so they could this is why I feel like with the um the the Empress representing that strong maternal energy there could be some kind of deep rooted um energy here um let's see what's going on in the chakras as well can we see what's going on in this person's chakras please what are their current feelings towards Libra let's see what wants to I was just about to say let's, let's see what wants to fly out and I had a feeling it had something to do with their root so I feel like when it comes to their feelings I feel like maybe there has been some issues around not always feeling confident to express or they may have seen they may have seen they may have witnessed they may have observed okay behaviors that have been very inconsistent almost like um i said this uh, in another read um trying to remember the read um i think it was something the read was um come on the read yes this is it the read was um, since you've gone like since you've been gone how um what regrets they may have since um, losing you so like have a look into that read okay but I it was like the museum of love museum of love now I feel like this could be something they might have witnessed or observed that on one side you may have like um, oh you're so lovable look at you oh yes oh yes you're growing up like it could it could be something that they've seen from like childhood and then afterwards it's like okay everybody's gone now all right back to Arno all right you go there yeah whatever okay you do this you whatever and I feel like this could be where the skeletons are it's all it's almost like they've love for them could be something that they may not be fully confident with expressing love and I feel like it's coming from a place of how they've seen or how they've been treated when it comes to love I feel like the love that they've received has been very conditional very conditional and it's always been on somebody else's terms or on terms that are so conditional that it's like is there any point in this this is what I kind of feel I feel like this is maybe what they've experienced so I feel like Libra and the energy of Libra is now creating a challenge now because I feel like oh Libra's energy is making me like how do I go about this but I don't think it's I don't feel like it's a jealousy I feel like it almost is like they're trying to commit match your energy by seeing it as like a competition like okay you're trying to get to know me there okay you're trying to get to know me there all right let, let's so what do okay so what are you willing to tell what are you willing to share rather than see it as like i'm just trying to get to know you so i feel like this person is really kind of and and it may be vice versa but i feel like this it this union is it it feels it feels like it feels hard work <laughs> even that's that that that's what it feels like it feels like okay like why is it why does it feel so hard to just try to get to know you all i'm doing is just trying to get to know you i have interest in you okay and if this is someone that you're separated from i feel like there could be some kind of like fear of wanting to come back um and maybe not wanting there could have been things that happened in the past or heartbreaks and things like that they haven't got over um, and it kind of trickled into the relationship that they have with you but I feel like if once it can overcome that maybe like there could be a lot of engagement a lot of messaging a lot of flowing but I feel like there is a strong energy of trust and I feel like that is causing that challenge energy here all right let's pull out a message from the Australian bush flower Let's see what else wants to come out for the All Signs Libra message. Okay. 
Let's have a look. Dog rolls of the wild forces. So calms the centers, calms and centers in times of inner and outer turmoil. Yes, collective, I feel like this is what's going on. And I feel like your energy, because I feel, when I think of Libra, the, the Libra is like balancing everything out, okay? And I feel like that's what's causing your energy, you, your, you being around them or even being connected to them. I feel like it's, I feel like it's, it's bringing everything to the surface, but I feel like how they're maybe trying to deal with it, it seems like they're being attacked. Again, that crab in the barrel. But I feel like the more they get to know you, they will see that no, it's, you know, it's a genuine connection. But I feel like there's a lot of, I feel like how they're dealing with it is to almost um, focus on their, their, I feel like the sacral, the sexual energy as like this competition and, um, and thrill rather than it being like, no, I want to see, I want to know your Empress energy. This is what I really want to see. But I feel like to cover that Empress energy, to cover that bit that maybe has been hidden and in has been put in the skeleton box, let's say, it's to move like they are this Queen of Wands that don't give her. <laughs> don't, I don't, I don't give her. I don't give, you know, I don't give, okay? Deuces okay that's the energy i'm getting but i feel like that's not really you know when you break it down you will find you know the empress is the queen of all queens so okay if you're if you're a queen of one show me the empress then because the empress is the queen of all queens okay she's the mother of all mothers okay all right i hope this is making sense um libra take what resonates all right that's what we like to do around here take what resonate Okay, so um, let's pull out a message. We've got the root. Let's pull out a message from the Good Karma Tarot deck just to clarify everything and what's going on with this person. Yeah, look, Two of Swords, Page of Swords. Again, watching, a lot of watching going on, watching, observing. I feel like this person can be, I'm getting like this person is very intelligent. And you could also be very intelligent, but I feel like this person likes to use because, you know, the swords can signify intelligence, you know, that mental um, intelligence. But I feel like they they may. I feel like they may use things that you have said things um, to to then bring it back later. But I feel like this is coming from the Queen of Wands energy to attack rather than their empress energy because remember they're trying to hide this they're trying not to re reveal this empress energy that you know that nurturing and loving side because i feel like it's that fear of abandonment is coming to mind okay there may have been an abandonment and neglect and i feel like how they've how they've coped with it or how they've managed is to get into this queen of wands i don't give a okay i hope this is making sense so i feel like now your energy is creating this because the two of swords um is that energy as well of that the libra energy like the justice card because the justice the justice card is that really it's kind of like that similar energy of the two of swords but without the blindfold if i if i'm correct so i feel like you are make your your energy is creating this kind of upheaval okay now what okay so now what's the best way for what's the best way to for libra to handle this situation let's have a look three of cups so i feel like with the three of cups be here is like seeking advice speaking to like your like speaking to your friends speaking to people and just kind of um, people that you trust, of course, but I feel like it's something you, you know, saying like, what what do you think about this? And do you think this is too much? Do you think it's this? Um, but I feel like it's also trusting your intuition. 
you know i feel like this it, this could be like let your friends help you but let your intuition help you as well um as well as asking for any signs or any synchronicities as well as if there's an opportunity to speak to this person maybe just talking about family life that might you know they might it might you know give you some clues or um just like okay so you know yeah this is what i liked doing when i was younger or i liked to play like skipping i like doing this what what kind of things did you enjoy and it might help you to see um if this person opens up or even things like um like let's say like food sometimes food is a really good way um to help people to open up and to express themselves and to i feel um i feel like it might help you to see this person a lot more if there could be some kind of hobbies or interests or shared interests to help to help you to see if this person will open up and um open up with you and feel a bit more comfortable with you but i feel like this the queen of wands energy is the energy that they use to hide to hide the empress but i feel like it's i all i'm almost get, getting like the any the energy of chess like the queen is like one of those um key key parts in chess that you try to protect you you do your best to protect and i feel like this is what the queen of what it's like what the the queen of wands is doing is like before you have to get through me first okay i hope that's making sense Libra. i hope it's making sense <laughs> So let's finish off by a message with the on the spiritual guidance cupcake. Let's see what you need to know. What do you need to know? What do you need to know? Okay, so we have <laughs> love the skin you are in cleanse exfoliate and glow look at that that's the empress energy this could also be you and you wanting to come to connect you know and it could be also your energy of the empress is like making everything unfold okay but it's up telling you love the skin that you're in and cleanse um cleanse exfoliate and glow so I'll use this time to um to look after your skin your beauty okay all right libra so i hope the, the message are resonating take what resonates and leave the rest so we're going to be moving on to scorpio now let's bring in scorpio scorpio baby right let's do a quick shuffle okay scorpio all right Moving on to Scorpio. Do a quick shuffle of all of the cards. Okay, bring Scorpio in to the front now. Not much to go now. Okay. So Keep hydrated. Keep sipping. I'm gonna get a nice sip of water. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, Scorpio. Let's start with the tarot. Let's see what you need to see regarding this person. What's their current feelings for you? What are their current feelings for you? <gasps> oh, whoa. So we have the eight of the Eight of Wands and the King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups. Sorry, the King. Yes, yeah, so we have the King of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. So I feel like there is a lot of. Um, there could be a lot of messages going back and forth. Maybe the more I feel like, maybe also the more you get to know one another, you might be also seeing that. This is someone you want to get to know on a deeper level. This is someone that you you enjoy communicating with. And I feel like there is a lot of expression of feelings and talking about shared interests that you enjoy. And I feel like the more you in 
the more you talk about one another i feel like it's also helping you to see how you can both fit in one another's lives this is the energy i'm getting but also this is like the strong energy of the scorpio energy and i i you know there's a lot there's a lot of water energy water energy and fire okay so i feel like there could be a lot of just enjoying one another's company and um, enjoying the communication with one another but i feel like with the king of cups could also be trying to like keeping you know keep stay cool and and but at the same time enjoying one another's company or enjoying one another's communication okay but there seems to be a lot of communication <clears throat> now it did fall like this okay so i'm also wondering if there has been some delays okay so you can put it in the comments if there has been some kind of delays but i feel like if even if there has been some delays maybe the the information is like messages are still passing through but if you're watching this scorpio i feel like maybe you could also be trying to just see whether this person is interested in you whether they like you but from what i can see there is an interest a genuine interest here so we're going to just keep pulling and seeing what messages additional messages there is for scorpio so we've got the psychic tarot oracle let's see what additional messages or additional clues um are there for scorpio what does scorpio need to know at this time oh partnership look at this oh we oh we look at that partnerships and alliances partnerships and alliances free 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 of cups so you might be seeing free frees i feel like this is someone you might be the more you get to know this one person the more you get to talk to them I feel like this you you can it's it's helping you to kind of I think I said this earlier Scorpio it could be it, I feel like it might be making you see how you can fit in each other's worlds I feel like this is the energy that I'm getting how you can fit in each other's worlds how you can the, the more you talk I feel like this is what you can kind of be seeing that it could be someone that you can you can grow with there can be some expansion in not just the the communication but seeing yourselves in each other's lives and this is the energy that i'm getting okay let's see what wants to come out from the um the australian bush flower deck let's see what's to come out for scorpio wants to come out for scorpio wants to come out for scorpio what what let's have a quick look at all of them Okay, so we have the Silver Princess, Life Direction and Purpose. We have the Red Suva Frangipani, Nurtures and Gives Strength to Cope with Relationship Upheaval. Okay, we have Sunshine Wattle, and this is all about optimism, joyful expectation. Um, we have the Pink Mula Mula, Heals deep spiritual wounds he heals deep spiritual wounds and the banksia rubber for temporary loss of enthusiasm and interest in life okay so i feel like scorpio you know whether this could be you and you've you may have gone through a couple of things um i feel like it could also be telling that you are at a place now where you're really just wanting to get to know somebody but i feel like even if you might not always fully be in expressing where you want this to lead i feel like you already have your intentions like made out that i i this is the type of love that i want this is the type of relationship i want to bring so i'm like you know i'm in, at the moment i'm enjoying getting to know somebody and if i see this person now you know taking a keen interest to get to know me and show you know interested in my interests then i will look at seeing whether this is something that we both have a mutual agreement for this is what i get with the partnership and the alliance okay all right so let's pull out the let's pull out the uh jamaican proverb what does the jamaican proverb wants to tell us at this time 
Okay, so we have no buy puss in a bag. No buy puss in a bag. So don't buy a puss. Don't buy a pussy cat. Don't buy no pussy cat in a bag. Okay. Don't just you know someone gives you an offer and says, oh what's that? Oh you know it's a really nice bag. It's a brilliant bag. Designer bag. Blah blah blah. Oh where did you get it from? Oh don't worry about that. <laughs> then you go buy the bag. Oh brilliant. Then you find it's, there's a, <laughs> you find there's a cat in the bag and you're like, why is there a cat in the bag? <laughs> That's what it is, okay? So sometimes deals are too good to be true. And this is what I was saying earlier about with Scorpio, maybe there is an energy of, you know, just enjoying the moment, enjoying the moment, getting to know somebody rather than trying to put labels on it. But I feel like you do have the intention of wanting something committed, wanting something long-term. But I feel like it's like you're saying to yourself, you want to you want to take the time to get to know someone first and then see where it where it where it lays or where it where it where it where it flourishes but i feel like this person may be also having that similar nature but there is like an energy of spiritual wounds healing uh, and maybe you might be enjoying these conversations and finding them healing or finding you know listening to these reads for some healing messages regarding th this scenario or this person that you have and and their current feelings for um for you but i feel like this person does have mutual feelings okay um and really you know i feel like it brings out the conversations or the this union i feel like it helps it brings out the best that's what I want to say it brings out the best in them it wants them to get to know more it really wants to um and it could be even maybe like having conversations on different topics and just having like a, a shared or mutual interest with these topics but I feel like those conversations help to to build a strong deep emotional connection okay and whether there's there's lots of uh, with the free there could be some things as well that may be talking about the past talking about um what it was like as a child um because i'm getting that six of cups energy as well for you um scorpio that maybe there could be a lot of that talking about the past talking about what it was like being a child or any significant um adults in your life and um their impact okay Yes, and then we have um, John Crow never make house till reincom. John Crow, so the crow, the crow bird, never makes a house, and so it never makes a nest until it starts to see rain falling. And I feel like this is also a reminder as well: save and invest for a rainy day. Save and invest for a rainy day. Now, with the partnerships and alliance, I feel like this could be something that you. You know maybe again having your know, intentions but maybe not coming forward with it as just yet because i feel like it could be also a dating for data trying to gather as much information about this person and you're dating for data to try and see and suss out whether this person really matches your true your true intentions and maybe vice versa they, they can also be doing that to try and work out and suss out where you currently are at or what you know where you see yourself in the next let's say two years five years kind of thing all right all right so we're gonna pull out now let's pull out a message from the chakra let's see what chakras are impacted at this time regarding the person for scorpio the current feelings and their current feelings for Scorpio. Yes, communication. So the throat chakra. So even though we've got the King of Cups here, okay, um, and we saw the Eight of Wands, and this is why I said, like, if if the Eight of Wands could be that again that delay, there could be some delays. Um, and I feel like this could be with the throat chakra being here that maybe some things that are fit like maybe it could be enjoying moments but things are not still not being said and this could be again 
around true intentions and really where you want this to unfold where you want this relationship to go okay so we're gonna pull out a message from the good karma and let's just see if we can get uh, any additional messages regarding what their current feelings are for you Scorpio Ooh. so ten of ones but I, it kind of felt like this but I feel like this person I feel like this person wants to get into a place where they feel 100% comfortable to just um, express how they truly feel and I feel like with the eight of ones being here it's that kind of like the build up of it <laughs> and then just be like wow well, to heck with this Scorpio this is how I feel about you this is how I feel about you let's see what's at the front at the back any see look the Emperor the Emperor six of ones in, re in reverse and the two of ones in reverse so I feel like that could be um, yes yeah, they you know they may want to come to you they may want to come and express that you know they see you as somebody that could be like a, 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 a divine counterpart but I feel like I feel like it for the for that to maybe for it to move forward I feel like it has to there has to be a um, it has to come to that point where you both feel confident in expressing how you truly feel I feel like it can't be a case of just enjoying company and talking it's, it's gonna get to eventually it's gonna get to that point of saying okay where where do I stand where do I stand, Scorpio? And you might be asking that question as well. Where do I stand? But I feel like the more you um, express and feel confident, you see, with the Three of Cups, it will bring that joy. And you'll be like, oh, I wish we just like said this earlier and and um, come to that. But I feel like it's also who's willing to who's willing to make the first move, Scorpio. And I feel like that is the message here. Who's willing to make the first move? Who's willing to let go? Who's willing to release? Um, the the fear of looking cool or or not looking cool or um, showing like an ounce of vulnerability about where they stand, who's willing to do that? Who's willing to put, you know, save save and invest for a rainy day? Who's willing to do that? Who's willing to do that? Okay, so Scorpio, we're gonna pull out a message um, from the spiritual guidance. This is an additional message that you need to know at this time. Oh, okay, it came out. So we have love, take a break and catch up on your shows. So Scorpio, take a break and catch up on your shows. So that could be, you know, like if you, if you haven't spent, if you just spend some time just unwinding, relaxing, and you know, you, you'd be surprised. Maybe an intuitive gem may just come down, a download may just come to you and you think, oh my gosh, or maybe even a show may help you to kind of, get another additional clue or an answer or something okay so scorpio i hope those messages are resonating take what resonate and we are moving on to sagittarius all right so let's do a quick shuffle okay keep hydrated as well as we go into these reads, okay. All right, so it's a quick sip. Okay, we've got Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Remember to go um, cover all of your your moon, sorry, your sun, your moon, and your ascendant signs for additional messages. Oop. Additional messages. Okay, they want to come out. Look at that. Look at that. The Nine of Pentacles, baby. <laughs> All right. Okay. We're just having a quick shuffle. Right, so we are moving on to sagittarius right so let's put that here because we're on sagittarius now hello sagittarius how you doing mm. 
don't know why I've got a song in my head. It's Charlie Wilson. Um, it goes something like, Hi, how you doing? My name is Charlie, Ooh, Charlie Wilson. And I was wondering if I can dig out. Ooh, yes. Love it. Okay, so let's have a look. The Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know regarding this person? What are their current feelings for you right now? Ooh. Okay, so this came out um, earlier. I feel this was Libra. Every cave hole have him or a doppy. So a doppy again can represent in Jamaican culture spiritual entity a ghost okay it's like it's kind of some kind of spirit form but it can also represent like skeletons you know things hidden okay things are hidden in the dark so everyone has their own skeletons so Sagittarius I feel like this could be kind of this energy that you're currently dealing with okay all right so let's have a look at the tarot let's see what the tarot is telling us at this time regarding this person for you Sagittarius Sagittarius what are their current feelings oh queen of swords so there's a lot of sharpness going on i feel like sagittarius every cave hole and i feel like again this could be a similar message as well um to what was going on with libra that the queen of swords could be a coping me mechanism it could be a defense mechanism to get people to back away to back away and I feel like they may tap into this energy or come across very sharp, very abrupt. But I feel like once you get once you get past this, I feel like you can help to open up this person a lot more. Let's see what's at the front and what's at the back for a significant look. The Hierophant's here. So I feel like there's some lessons, you know, lessons. Maybe this could be, you know, if you're watching this, it could be taking some lessons on how to deal with this person, okay? Let's see what's... Look, look at that! <laughs> Four of Wands. So I feel like the, the Queen of Wands... Sorry, the Queen of Swords may have been someone who may have had to deal with a lot, okay? And this could also be you, um, Sagittarius. You know, and I feel like... I feel like maybe this person that's interested in you may sense that and I feel like I, I feel like the Queen I feel like being the Queen of Swords is is has kind of been an energy that has has come from trials and tribulations focusing on you focusing on your career focusing on your your goals and the ambitions that you have and you may be using this because at first I was thinking, because mm, it could be the, the the you know the Pacific person, but now I'm feeling like this could be also your energy, and it could be also a way to you know every cave hole has its own duppy, and um, you may be aware of that, but may have used this or may have used this in a way to kind of deter people away from you, in the sense of being more sharp, abrupt okay on and it can be vice versa so let's have a look and see what additional messages here and what their current feelings are for sagittarius what are their current feelings for sagittarius right now right now or there, if there's been any arguments or disagreements on anything as well it can also show up in the queen of swords right let's have a look so we have harmony harmony so I feel like there could have been some arguments or maybe some hot, fiery um, discussions that can then lead to really sharp um, endings when conversating, that it kind of leaves, it leaves more questions than answers. Okay, another song is coming to, to mind. Um, there's more questions, there is more, um, the song is, it's a, I don't know who, I don't know who's the, who sang the original song. Um, I just know like the, the reggae <laughs> I just like I just know the reggae cover but there are more questions than answers pictures on my mind that will not show hey there's more questions than answers 
I'm the more I stand out, the less I know. I'm the more I find out, the less I know. Yes, the more I find out, the less I know. The more I find out, the less I know. Wisdom. So I feel like, let's keep looking. I'm getting some downloads, but we got destiny. We got disconnect and boredom. Disconnect and boredom. And we have emotional withdrawal. So I feel like this this is some kind of the Queen of Swords energy is a kind of a mechanism to appear like you don't care, to appear disconnected to I, I, and this could be vice versa as well but I feel like this is kind of like an energy to steer people away and maybe you know maybe for, for those in the collective it could have also been something that you've developed and then you're not realizing oh my gosh it's impacting my ability when it comes to meeting people when it comes to meeting people of a love interest and I feel like if you're seeing this now, it's saying, right, it's time to stop that. It's time to stop that because now it's manifested itself in your relationships with people. Okay. And um, here, because look, there's a strong energy of like harmony for discontent, discontent, a lot of contemplation energy, but the need to heart to heart to have harmony. Um yes harmony and this like destiny so i feel i feel like there is a lot there could have been some conflict as well because we got five and look i just let i just just it just made sense now we had earlier we had the hierophant and the, the um in tarot the the five represents the 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 hierophant energy learning lessons okay lesson so i feel like this there's there is a lesson here um sagittarius that you have to um to learn now and i feel like this could be you know you might be very good at coming across very blase when it comes to emotions and just focusing on focusing on you just focusing on doing things folk taking action but i feel like when it comes to love now when it comes to manifesting love and bringing more love energy i feel like it can create a blockage okay and and it's funny because if the person was thinking maybe this might be you know the other person but i kind of feel like this energy is like it's also it's also your energy sagittarius but i feel like if you're if when you're dealing with somebody in your current feelings i feel like there has to be because you've got five five that because there's a strong energy of lessons here so i feel like this could be maybe um both of you could be showing this or displaying this to one another but i feel like if you're seeing this this is also a lesson to say right you can't keep doing this no more because it's not you might be giving off mixed messages this is what i'm kind of getting like okay well do you like me or do you not and then it goes into an argument and then all right then okay so when you're calling me next time and then, then, it, then it goes back into another argument and this is what i'm kind of getting here okay so um i yes i feel like you know there is lessons here in being more of this energy okay let's have a look at the chakras let's see what's going on let's see wagwan because it seems like a lot of a lot of drama is going on here so let's have a look oh yes so we got the root we got the root chakra here and we got the throat chakra we got the root and the throat chakra here so i feel like they can be hot hot arguments like really like things blow up very quickly and it may be like things and i feel like this is what the queen of swords is showing how you know a conversation can just get really abrupt really sharp and i feel like you know there could be some kind of issues around the fruit the, the fruit the root chakra rewind 
<laughs> the root chakra i feel like there is something here about the root the root chakra where it could be in both of your inner childs i feel like is that fear of opening up to one another especially because the swords energy is here and we're seeing like the energy of harmony um discontent withdrawal emotional withdrawal destiny i feel like it's kind of saying right lessons need to be taken here to release this we've got to let go of this if you haven't already um please do have a look on on the video section at wagwan Taranti um youtube channel you have a look at the inner child inner child reading because i feel like you can gain a lot of intuitive gems there but i feel like there is a strong energy of having to let go and release release these release this energy of like discontent withdrawal emotional kind of like blase because i feel like it's causing or impacting um or creating drama unnecessary drama in this union in this relationship and i feel like if 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 both parties like let's say if both parties kind of lighten that load i feel like it will you know you might you might see that oh we both want the same things but i feel like it's a case of everyone no one wants to open up no one's uh, this is what i'm getting is the energy that no one wants to open up and because no one wants to open up it's causing hot arguments where really all it is is harmony that's what you both want but no it's the fear of opening up okay that kind of like the eight of cups energy um eight of cups or the 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 eight of swords energy okay no one's coming forward to open it up and i feel like that's what is causing issues here so let's have a look okay so for the um for sagittarius so let what do they need to see what additional message they need to see Ooh, okay we have the bush iris deepen spirituality and acceptance of death acceptance of death okay and i feel like that's in it um as a reminder as well that i feel like the acceptance of death here is to accept that this needs to go this needs to stop let's just see if there's additional message here for sagittarius oh okay the hippobertia integrates the intellect with the heart for true wisdom yes you see again it's asking you to open up it's asking you to open up sagittarius and i can hear like, open up what me yes sagittarius you gotta open up you gotta open up your heart okay so you know i feel like it's saying if the more you open up your heart and not seeing everybody as like oh they're out to get me so i need to be pop, 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 pop. yeah I, this, this this is what I'm kind of trying to, what I'm getting. You've got to like open up um, and, you know, gather the lessons that you may have gathered from your previous relationships, okay? And to help you to then move forward, knowing clearly what you want. And I feel like maybe journaling, writing, or even talking out loud, you know, you could be talking out loud, like record yourself talking out loud um as a letting go exercise and saying i'm you know i'm talking about this is all the things that i may have held held on and now i see that i need to let go and you can write it you could talk in it in a way like you're talking to the universe and saying to the universe i am letting go of this i'm no longer holding on to this anger i'm no longer holding on to this resentment i'm letting go of this and me talking this into existence and then deleting it is my way of releasing it to the universe that's a it can be a really really healing doing that as well so that could be like an activity that you could try doing sagittarius to let go of this okay and maybe you know talking to friends people that you trust having a maybe having an opportunity to kind of talk and express yourself and see how that may feel make you feel more open or even like you know asking like a mess or saying a message to your guardian angels i want to open up my heart chakra please align me or help align me to 
to open up my heart chakra in everyday situations things like that could maybe really help you to lighten this load okay and not feel like <laughs> all right who who wants who wants a piece of me who wants a piece who's ready for this because I'll, I'll knock all your heads off right now <laughs> Okay, I feel like, yeah, that that's, <laughs> we need to be less of that, okay? <laughs> okay, what am I doing? Right, so we're going to pull out a, right, well, yes, we're going to pull out um, the good karma. Look at that, the Hierophant again? Look, we got the Hierophant again that came out. This, I feel like this is really lessons, 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 555. Five, five. You might be seeing 555. Five, five. Acceptance of a death. Change needs to happen, Sagittarius. And I feel like, you know, sometimes you never know what the cards will pull. But I feel like what their what the current feelings, I feel like it's also your feelings. And it's to release those feelings. And I feel like, you know, sometimes, sometimes, the situations that we have or experience can also be a can be what we project out in the world so i feel like it it, it can also be a reminder to because look we've got uh, um ace of cups was in reverse as well here and i feel like you've got to you've got to open up your shot your your shot your shot your shot your heart <laughs> your heart chakra you've got to open up your heart chakra and i feel like you, you know letting your friends help you letting letting the universe helping you help you let your guardian angels you know help you try it try that releasing um activity and see how it feels letting go just letting go letting go letting go letting go see hear how calming that feels you know letting go letting go or see yourself like a balloon so full of anger and resentment and then you're like you know, I'm saying letting go, taking deep breaths, and then you just feel the completely depleted because it's like all of that, all of that hot air just releasing from you, okay? And I feel like that can really help you at this time, okay? Let's have another message. If Sagittarius, um, if, okay, let's see, from Sagittarius person, if Sagittarius opens up and becomes, like, opens up their heart chakra a lot more, let's see the outcome, for this situation six of swords six of swords six of so let's see okay six of four so i feel like it will move away you it will be like moving away all right let's see let's have a look for sagittarius so pages of swords six of swords so i feel like if you i feel with the six of swords being here even if this person may not be um let's say the, the the i feel like i feel like it's kind of also saying taking that time sagittarius to get clear with what you want will then help you to stay away or stay to stay away from things where you constantly have to feel like you have to be um be on your warrior mode warrior mode but i feel like also the pages of swords can also be here as a reminder that you know maybe taking that time for yourself in terms of writing things down that you want to manifest writing things down the type of um love or uh relationship that you want to um have but i feel like let's see what else the six of swords wants to say let's have a look let's see what else the for sagittarius please what else what else does Sagittarius what needs to know? The Empress. So if you ah so if you leave this, if you move away, and I feel like this the page of swords can also be looking back, looking back going, it's gonna be it may be a hard struggle because you've been you've relied on this for so long. Look with the the the, the root being here, you this could have been a behaviour that you've relied on for so long. And it may also create um, conflict ties with the, you know, this person that you may be communicating with or vice versa. But I feel like ultimately it's going to bring you to the Empress energy, which is that nurturing, loving energy. 
okay and i feel like that nurturing loving energy will help you to open up will help you to manifest more in your life and in your existence so i feel like this is what you can bring more in your life if you're willing to let go of that <laughs> who's next who's next <laughs> okay i hope that is making sense all right so let's have a look and see what message wants to come out from the spiritual guidance cupcake let's have a look okay i thought it's like something wanted to come out okay so we have here meditate for five minutes before bed and say what you are thankful for to close the day and i feel this will be a really good way sagittarius to help you to stay grounded to help you to stay connected to help you to stay focused okay and i feel like it's because we look the hierophant is here three times and i feel like it's kind of saying there's lots of lessons that need to be learned sagittarius here okay and it could be also you know around being content with yourself and your emotions so you are not attracting people who are, that's the word I was, that's coming that's the word thank you unavailable people emotionally unavailable people okay so i feel like it's kind of saying you have to be emotionally available and you know be open to being emotionally available so you're not attracting you're not attracting emotional of un unemotional available people i hope that is making sense sagittarius okay all right so take what resonates sagittarius and leave the rest so we are now moving on to capricorn so thank you sagittarius right so that was an interesting read <laughs> all right quick shuffle All right. Okay, let's have a look. We're moving on to Capricorn. Capricorn. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn, baby. With Capricorn, baby. Capricorn. All right, quick shuffle. The ride of weight. Ooh, we got these for there. <laughs> all right, all right. Staying hydrated. Quick sit. Mm -hmm. Right, we are ready to start Capricorn. So let's have a look at Capricorn. Okay, what's going on with Capricorn? What's their current feelings for you? Ooh. So, stand your ground, Capricorn. Stand your ground. And trapped in fear. Stand your ground and trapped in your fear. So I feel like, Capricorn, what are their feelings for you? If there is some kind of... I feel like there is some kind of loggerheads with maybe values um opinions how you see things how you do view things um there could, and this could be causing some kind of disagreement between you two capricorn let's have a look at what the jamaican proverb is telling us at this time let's have a look what is the jamaican proverb telling us at this time mm, i feel like this wants to come out save and invest for a rainy day so John Crow never make a house till rain come. This simply means because this came out earlier. Um, the John Crow is a, the crow bird. Never makes a nest until it starts to see rain. And I feel like it's saying save and invest for a rainy day. Now Capricorns traditional um, traditionalism is very key for Capricorns. So I feel like this could be maybe a discussion about how you see life, how you value life, um, maybe family life, the home life. Okay. Um, so let's have let's keep on looking and seeing what else wants to come out. So let's have a look at the 
um, Australian bush flower. What wants to come out regarding this person? What's their current feelings for you? Um, so we have the Bohemia, Bohemia, Bohemia. Open to change and new concepts. Open to change and new concepts. Open to change and new concepts. So I feel like if there's if we've got trapped in fear, stand your ground, but open to change and new concepts. Save for a rainy day. Save for a rainy day. I feel like there could be some underlying um, differences, um, and it, I feel like it could be some things to do with how you see and how you value things. Because this feeling of feeling trapped and we need to explore this so let's have a look and see what the tarot is saying let's see what the tarot is saying what's the tarot saying about this feeling of trapped stand your ground open your heart to new things what's going on with the, the for capricorn okay we have the four of wands is here all right okay what else let's have a look because I feel like the four of wands could be maybe that it's like some kind of commitment issues yes because look the queen of pentacles is in reverse so I feel that there is some kind of commitment commitment issues going on here and perhaps with this person because look we've got save and invest I feel like this could be some kind of reckless behavior or um, unsettled not committed to building a legacy just yet okay and i don't know whether this is coming from you capricorn or this is from what you're sensing from this person that is causing some kind of conflict that you like this person but you can't see how you can't see how things will progress if they're not ready yet and i feel like maybe it could be something intuitively that you are sensing about this person about what their current feelings are for you Okay, let's have a look and see what else wants to come out. What else wants to come out? What else wants to come out? Ooh. Look. So this person could be a divine counterpart in the ways you see things. But I feel like, because it, it kind of flew like this. So it could be reversed. Um, you know, sideways. But I feel... I f um, Sideways, sideways. <laughs> you can tell we're coming to the re end of the read. <laughs> okay. Um, I feel like with the King of Pentacles here as well. Maybe, I feel like maybe, because um, I feel like it did come this way. I feel like maybe there is something in this person that even though you might be drawn to this person and their energy, and you could see that they have the potential that's the word that's coming i don't feel like you've intuitively from the t from the information you've gathered the dating for data i don't feel like you feel like they're ready just yet this is what i'm kind of sensing okay right so we are gonna we're going to pull a message from from this deck and see what additional message can we clarify what's going on here please for Capricorn what's going on with Capricorn page of wands page of wands so I feel like there is the, there's a message here and I feel like their message here of the when it comes to the page of wands I feel like maybe this person maybe that you're dealing with Capricorn I feel like there could be cause we've got the king of what the king of pentacles so they could possibly be the same age or they could be younger than you but I feel like with the page of ones being here there might be some immature um, energy when it comes to dealing with things or dealing with matters with the heart dealing when it dealing with conversations about long-term commitment I feel like that's where they kind of flop and I feel like you've kind of sensed it that maybe you're trying to pull this information but I feel like 
you know, they may have conversations about the four of wands, wanting the four of wands, wanting to be married, wanting to be committed, but I feel like it doesn't follow through and it kind of just stays on this. It stays on this kind of like flirtatious, um, not with the page of wands, because the page of wands can be like the messenger and as well as when it comes to like taking action, doing things. But I feel like it kind of stays here. And I feel like this this is what you've been sensing, Capricorn, that, you know, there are feelings there. And there could be, like, feelings of um, wanting to communicate, wanting to talk and wanting to express, like, maybe, you know, the commonalities that you both have. But then when it comes to any talk about commitment, it's like it fizzles out. It fizzles, it fizzles out. And then... Um, I feel like maybe there could also be things that you may have noticed or maybe conversations about money and it always seems like there's a very immature way of talking about money and I feel that kind of it, it's giving you it's giving you um Capricorn like a red flag like all I can hear in my head right now is <coughs> Ah, hell no, because you know Capricorn, I'm a, uh, you know, I feel like this Capricorn is saying, you know I'm about my money, you know I'm about building a legacy, so you, if you, if you got some problems with money, you know, don't be looking at me, don't be looking at me now, <laughs> don't be looking at me now, okay, okay, girl, girl, boy, okay, that's what I'm kind of getting, is there anything else that wants to come out, because look, we've got this, yes, the sun in reverse, and the Ace of Swords. So I feel like you are sensing that this person, what I'm kind of getting is this person ain't good for my money. <laughs> you won't, you won't be, you know what I might do, you know, put it in the comments if you want a read Capricorn or I could do like a collective reading um, for, for, the, uh, for the collective or pick a card reading is this person good for my money because sometimes those are comforts these these are like you know actually really good questions you have to ask yourself to, if you don't have the same vision when it comes to money because i feel like this person even this the, the image your image is giving like this person don't see the importance of saving and reserving it's like they may just want to if they buy something, they cook everything. They cook everything in one go and then go. Because <laughs> they look at the next day and go, oh, what, what is there, what's there for dinner? And you'll be like, well, you cooked everything. <laughs> this is the kind of message that I'm getting. Like, I'm getting a really not a developed mind when it comes to managing finances. And I feel like the more you've got to know them or having conversations or even getting to kind of just figure out how they do things i feel like you see the potential but then at the same time uh, capricorn this is the thing you're not when we're marrying it shouldn't be about marrying potential it should be about marrying or looking for somebody who has those qualities now okay and i feel like this is what you could properly are uh, contemplating and sensing that yeah this can't be this can't work this can't work for you you know because they need to get themselves together but i feel like this person is interested in you but i feel like i'm getting the message i'm not they're just not ready they're not ready yet they're not where you want to be and i feel like it could be also making your queen of pentacles energy um in the reverse because it's like you're feeling like oh man i thought i met somebody who's you know met somebody who you know could match my energy but then the more i get to know them I, i'm realizing that yeah, this this you know this feeling can't be right i gotta let go look open to change and new concepts and i feel like maybe you gotta be open to change in this scenario because they are coming as a an a counterpart but it's like a counterpart that a counterpart that won't work so well if you're looking to build a legacy okay if you're looking to lose all your legacy i can see that but i don't see the whole um you know it again stand your ground and i feel like this is all about you being confident in you know what if you can't if if you you know focus on 
what is it you truly want you can bring this and bring somebody who is equal to you okay I hope that is making sense okay is there any any lasting advice that you can give Cap Capricorn at this time can um, for spirit any lasting advice you can give Capricorn right now regarding this situation okay so we have seven of ones again look the standing your ground I feel like it's let's see what else is that wants to come out seven of ones eight of ones I feel like if you stand your ground in this situation and say what you truly want be clear with what you truly want put it out in the ex put it out in the um out in your environment in your in your ex put it in like in the, in the existence existence put it in ex put come on man put put the come on words download put it into existence <laughs> so that it can come to you okay don't feel caught up in like oh i thought he was the one or i thought this person could be the partner i thought she was the one or this kind of thing just focus on what you truly want so it can come to you okay and i feel like when you get clear it's look the eight of wands is here it's like it's gonna come it's gonna come it's gonna come okay but this just, just may not be th this person or this person may need a lot of work and then you've got to ask yourself man if I just got clear with what I want, stood my ground, stand my ground, then the, you know, what I really want can come for me. Okay. So I hope that is making sense. Right. We're going to pull out, take, and you know what we do around here, take what resonates and leave the rest Capricorn. We're just going to pull out a quick, um, spiritual guidance message for you. What does, what does Capricorn need to know at this time? Let's have a look. So we have oh look at this bad mind energy you gotta tell bad mind energy gue so gue just means go away gue in jamaican power mean go away gue gue you can kind of hear it <laughs> it's look like, like if you listen carefully you can kind of hear it go away go away but you say it really fast gue gue so bad mind energy gue tell it to go away go away go okay just run it move move from here move move from here move from here darling <laughs> well, we, we don't need to say move from here darling because you're darling isn't it? <laughs> just move we don't need that energy around here any type of bad mind that just means bad intentions move that energy from you and i feel like this is what you've got to do here if there's some kind of energy here where they, and it could be someone as well like really asking um asking for money in jamaican culture we say beggy beggy they just want this begging 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 non-stop beggy beggy this beggy 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 then just beggy beggy then my beg 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 then my beg i beg i beg stop that N no bye go long go away okay because i feel like it's like building on your you know this could be taxing uh, this is what i'm kind of getting and it's like what could be causing that fear and we gotta say bye to that. So bad, bad mind energy. Gwe, bye. Good vibes only. Okay. And sometimes um, Capricorn or collective in general. Sometimes you might see, you know, you, you, you listen to a question, you're thinking, oh, what kind of answers they may have for me. And sometimes it may not be what you ne necessarily want to hear, but you know, what comes out in the cards is what comes out in the cards. Period. That's how it goes. That's how it goes okay way oi go and show love uh, on your body tell yourself um tell yourself that you love your hair your face and body way -oi, way -oi, way -oi. so i feel like this is a message to remind you to go out there and tell yourself that you look good you feel good hey you look good hey you feel good hey body roll hey you look good you feel good capricorn look good all sides hey you look good you feel good Woo! hey you got it you are tapping to that energy and recognize that you know look at you you're coming up in the queen of pentacles why you're in the reverse mode you tap into your energy love on yourself okay Wear your head, you know, have your head up high. Sometimes with the Queen of Pentacles, I can also see it as like if somebody who can be 
they're very good at what they do but sometimes they keep they they have this modest approach if you look at the king of pentacles look at the look at the body positioned in, 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 as the king of pentacles it's like someone who's like they're braced in, in a confident way their feet are all out their, their their back is strong whereas the queen of pentacles is kind of leaning to one side not really not having their head in a way that they look confident and i feel like that's also a reminder like as a queen of pentacles to look after yourself tap into that energy that yes you are you you are the baddest in what you do stand strong stand strong stand strong so let the universe you know you just as how good you are at manifesting money you're gonna be good at manifesting other things for yourself too but you gotta stand strong on this all right okay so capricorn take what resonates okay take what resonates and we're gonna move on to aquarius okay all right so quick shuffle quick shuffle baby quick shuffle baby quick shuffle baby quick shuffle baby Ooh, it's the all size quick shuffle baby quick shuffle baby Quick shuffle, baby. Ooh, it's the all sign. Quick shuffle, baby. Quick shuffle, baby. Quick shuffle, baby. Ooh, it's the all sign. Quick shuffle, baby. Quick shuffle, baby. Quick shuffle, baby. Ooh, it's the all sign. Quick shuffle, baby. Quick shuffle, baby. Quick shuffle, baby. Ooh, it's the all sign. Oh, yes. Right, got to thank you all. Thank you to all the scri subscribers. Love you all. Okay, right. So we are ready for the Aquarius read. All right, Aquarius. Welcome, welcome. Come on in. Come on in. Remember to check your sun, moon and rising signs for the all signs read. Right, we are going to start with the tarot. Right. With the tarot deck here, the right away. Okay, so Aquarius, what's going on with Aquarius? What are their current feelings for Aquarius right now? So we've got the Three of Pentacles. So the Three of Pentacles in reverse for the Aquarius. What are their current feelings for them right now? So I feel like there is kind of an energy of not wanting to cooperate. Um, I feel like it could be. I oh, Aquarius. I feel like there's an energy as well of maybe not really wanting to get to know more about you or your family and friends. So let's have a. We want to keep looking into that because for it to come out on the reverse. I feel like there's some kind of like discontent or attachment from getting to know maybe the wider scale of you. Um, so let's have, we're going to keep looking to that. All right. So let's pull out a message from the Jamaican proverb. What do you need to know from the Jamaican proverb? Okay. Ooh, that almost flew. If I could fly away. That's what it wanted to do. Right. So it says the nanny goat never scratch him back until him see the wall. The nanny goat never scratch him back until him see wall. Okay, that's the Jamaican proverb, and it simply means the nanny goat never scratches its back until it sees a wall. So it kind of backs itself against a wall so it can have all eyes. Okay, so it's kind of like a strategic thing to do. Okay, and this is what I'm kind of getting with the Three of Pentacles. Okay, this energy of like almost like they're trying to suss everything out by maybe wanting to know you on a singular scale rather than oh as i said earlier a wide a wider scale because you know there's an individual and then there is you know other people around that individual so this is where i feel like mm, okay let's see what this is really saying okay so here it says being an analytical position for an opportunity to focus and execute so being an analytical position for an opportunity focus and execute now 
what are their current feelings now i feel like this could if this could be something to do with because i feel like there's more than one story here aquarius there could be you know somebody who has feelings for you in a work environment and maybe you could work in a say the same team you could work in a neighboring team a sister team and i feel like maybe they try to find opportunities when you are alone or when they maybe when you ha have some kind of joint meeting to have conversations with you and i feel like maybe over the period of time you may have sussed or noticed or feel like intuitively that they have been doing that i feel like there could be this energy with this focus and execute of trying to like position theirself to always be around you so I, I am getting this energy here but I feel like there could also be for some of you perhaps only just wanting to know you but not wanting to know about the family or there might be some like other like family or friends involvement and I feel like they could also be not so keen on that so we're gonna look and see what else wants to come out okay Let's have a look at, let's have a look further about what are their current feelings? What are their current feelings for, for you right now, Aquarius? For Aquarius, what are their current feelings for them right now? Okay, so we have patience and planning. Patience and planning. Patience and planning. Okay, so again, it is that kind of being really analytical positioning themselves thinking like the nanny goat okay keep putting this back against the wall to scratch so they while they assess everything going on around them okay let's see what else wants to come out guardian aquarius what's their current feelings for aquarius wow so we have foundation and achievements foundation and achievements so i feel like this there is a love there is a there is a love energy here we're going to keep pulling because we haven't got um pull again but i feel like with memories of love there could be now with the memories of love this is like the six of cups energy it's making me want to scratch my head okay because i feel like <laughs> i feel like there is could be somebody a past maybe someone from your recent past who also wants to come back but i feel like maybe they know that they could be a you surrounded by people and i feel like they could be trying to see how ways of how they can cut through that to get to you now again trust your intuition and use your discernment and ask yourself you know if that is the case do you really want to have that okay because i feel like maybe with the patience and this is why i feel like there is there could be for some of you there might be someone who likes to try and conversate with you conversate with you because maybe in a way when there's no one else around or when they feel like they haven't got any they haven't got like maybe family friends to deal with and I, and I feel like if there are some of you who are going through that, I feel like you also have to ask yourself, collective, you know, we as indiv we are individuals, yes, but we are, a, you know, think of a family tree. You are part of a family tree. Whether we like it or not, we are part of a family tree. Now, yes, you can go and make your own family tree connections. So you have your filled your own friends, maybe sp some particular family members that you have a good relationship and they can form your family. But I feel like, you know, somebody who's interested in you in a romantic or lo lo um, love interest way, that is something that they have to accept. That is something that you have to accept that it's not just you okay you you form part of a wider community so i feel like that this is what is kind of giving me that side eye you know it's giving you it's like giving that side eye like wanting to look at this person in a side eye way because it's kind of like what what's the issue like and patience and planning what's the issue here why you know taking that time to get to know me and and know you know every part of me 
okay and i hope it's making sense for for some of you collective but it says foundation and achievements we've got foundation and achievements okay so this could be like um the i feel like it could be like the the four pentacles energy or the four of wands as well energy but I feel like it's it's that be analytical position excuse me be analytical position for an opportunity focus and execute I, I, I'm getting this kind of real strong energy of yeah it is, it's like someone's playing chess they're playing chess this is what I'm getting it's like it's like a game of playing chess and trying to put their position to see okay I wonder if Aquarius will let me let me if I message Aquarius then I may not message this this time like Aquarius please put in the comments if this person has they been consistent with their messaging have they or has it has it do you feel like intuitively it's come across like they are to teach strategically messaging you or gauging you because this is how it feels like to me so we're gonna just pull out another message can we clarify the three of pentacles in reverse please the three of pentacles in reverse please can we mesh can we can we clarify this message please what's going on here what's going on what's going on what's going on yeah look the ace of wands so i feel like there could be some game playing aquarius going on on maybe um i feel like the energy could be igniting you getting you all heated up and then going hot and cold again igniting going hot and cold again now this could be for some of you but i feel like there could be that message and maybe the six of the six of cups here with the memories of love could be your energy of remembering the good times but then i feel like again it has to be look the two pillars here you know i feel like this is giving me the seven of pentacles energy but I feel like it's also, you know, being mindful of, okay, yeah, there were some good memories. And what else was, what else, what other memories did you have to b outweigh and balance them all? Okay. But I feel like there's a, a just a strong energy of hot and cold going on, which is kind of giving this energy of like, someone's trying to call the shots and trying to see whether you're going to respond to them being the shot caller i'm ho i'm hoping that's making sense okay right so let's have a look at the australian bush the australian bush um oracle deck let's see what messages want to come out from the australian bush right so we have revitalization of caregivers the alpine mine the alpine the alpine mind sorry <laughs> the alpine mint bush the alpine mint bush what else wants to come out for aquarius aquarius so i'm kind of getting aquarius and this might not apply for, to all of you some kind of mind mind games or like trying to test the waters to see how far you know they can maybe tap into that energy or things this could be some a past person as well you know confidence and courage look at that confidence and courage i feel like this person could be trying to you know pull um see how much they can pull and sometimes unfortunately when you know three of pentacles it can represent collaboration it could be working on projects and things like that but i feel like intuitively it showing up in this read could also be wanting to connect with you in a way where there is no other interference that can interplay and i hope that's making sense and i feel like you gotta trust your intuition and use your discernment okay all right collective right so we're gonna pull out a message from the chakra let's see what comes out regarding this person solar so there's definitely some 
I feel like maybe this person could have could have um confidence issues there could be some confidence issues but i feel like what they may do i feel like they may project those confidence issues to make it as if it's you have these confidence issues so i'm not really feeling this aquarius i'm, I'm not really feeling this i feel like there may have been some good times or maybe talks about having a family life or things like that but i feel like this could be you know, I feel like there's more than one story here, but I feel like there's, there could be somebody from the past um, who may have played these kind of hot and cold games to try and lure you in and kind of position you in where they want you to be. And and I feel like if intuitively you've kind of sensed this, I feel like you've got to give it the side eye. Give it the side eye, you know. Give it the side eye. And I, I feel like because i'm getting a real like conditional love conditional love energy here and love is unconditional love is unconditional collective love is unconditional let's see what additional advice you want to give aquarius at this time what do you want to get, let aquarius know Ooh, this fell on the floor bear with me let's see where it's gone Ooh. I can't even see where it's gone, y'all. Right, we're gonna use we're gonna use another deck, okay, collective, because that's flowed out. And I'm not sure where it's gone. <laughs> All right, give me a sec. We're gonna use we're gonna use a um, the simply tarot deck. So just bear with me. Ah, oh, I found it. There it goes. So the one that came out. So I was just about to get another deck because I couldn't see it. But now I've seen it. It's the Justice card. Now, there could have been some illegal issues. There could have been some, you know, because the Justice card can represent that. But I feel like this, the Justice card being here, and it was kind of like, it was upside down. I feel like it, I feel like there is a very unbalanced union here. And I feel like it's having to trust your intuition, use your discernment, and just know that love is not conditional. Love is not conditional, okay? And love shouldn't m make you feel in any way that you have to break or, right, you can't, you know, you can't, you can't put, you can't have, have time prioritized here, prioritized there. You've only got to be one focus in one area. I hope this is making sense, collective, and for the Aquarius. Um, and and trust your intuition every time. Okay? Right. So, let's pull out a message. But that flew out. <laughs> that flew well behind me. Right, okay. So, let's have, we've got a message from the... Um, the spiritual guidance cupcake that it came out but let's do, let's let's do another little shuffle again what wants to come out oh another one came out okay so we'll read them oh look at this collective aquarius wind your waist like you are at a caribbean festival parade okay so wind your waist like you're at a caribbean like wine so wine just means like to you know um like move your body move your waist in this kind of circular motion so if you think of like almost like like shakira okay um or she's yes colombian but she like moves her weight i think you well, know i think she's colombian and lebanese but it's like moving your waist like that okay or like a a, a, a caribbean a caribbean or a brazilian festival and you've seen people doing the samba samba and they're moving their waist okay so like yes um if anyone's been to the caribbean or you've got like the um trinidadian carnival um the um barbados carnival jamaican carnival um in the uk we have notting hill carnival like you know moving your body moving your waist um i think the us has um the miami carnival if i yes and then canada has a toronto ca carnival so um, yes move your waist you know move your waist 
you know that is something I would love to do for Wahoo and Tarant. If anyone's interested, we'll do like a move your body release. Okay, um, so good for your body and so good for to gr help you feel grounded as well. So wind your waist, yes, wind your waist, wind your waist. <laughs> okay and just shift that energy as well and i feel like you know look at what where you know the waist area controls this kind of this confidence energy and i feel like this is this is the energy aquarius you need to really tap into this time okay really tap into your confidence i know that you got it you got it and tell yourself that you got it on a daily basis okay right think like a jamaican a small island, a dot on the world map, figured out how to still shine. Yes. Yes. So you've got this. You <laughs> you got this. Don't let anything stop you from shining. Don't let anything stop you from shining. Do you hear that? Don't let anything stop you from shining. Don't let anything don't let anything Aquarius let stop you from shining okay so I hope the messages are resonating and take what resonate um, Aquarius all right we're moving on to Pisces let's see what messages are for Pisces okay so we're shuffling for Pisces baby Shuffling for Pisces, baby. Shuffling for Pisces, baby. We're shuffling, 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 baby. Shuffling for Pisces, baby. Shuffling, ooh, for Pisces, baby. Shuffling for Pisces, baby. We're shuffling, shuffling. Shuffling, shuffling, yeah, shuffling for passes, baby. Shuffling for passes, baby. Shuffling for passes, baby. We shuffling, 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 yeah, shuffling for passes, baby. Yeah. Right, we are ready. So. Pisces, let's start with the Jamaican proverb, Pisces. How you all doing, Pisces? I hope you're feeling good. I hope you're feeling iry for this jam-packed all signs reading. What are their feelings for you right now? Now, the thing about these reads, they can kind of pull out your energy at the same time. So we're going to see Wagwan, what's going on, okay? Let's have a look. Okay, so we have... Noset hungry duck for watch Khan. Noset hungry duck for watch Khan. This simply means do not set a hungry, a starving duck to watch corn. Don't give them the task to do that because guess what's going to happen? They're going to eat all the corn. Okay, that can lead to temptation, trust, you know. So it's like you being, we need to be mindful and using our common sense although common sense always isn't always common but we've got to use our common sense okay in this area like don't don't openly give come temptation or give something or lead something to them be tempted i hope that's making sense so i feel like if there's maybe some ideas or some thoughts or feelings on certain things to be mindful of that at this time now we have a what it go do the kid follow a what it go do the kid follow this simply means what the goat sees okay so what the kid goat because the kid yeah a goat a, a baby goat is called a kid so what a kid sees the 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 elder goat the parent goat they're gonna follow and that's something naturally like it just like a child if a child sees something they will copy they will imitate because that's all part of their learning process so it's this is, this is why it's so important to instill in like really good good qualities good lessons so that the child then gets as the child gets older they then develop a 
you know, even if they haven't gathered everything, but the idea is those those learning, early learning stages that they've picked up along the way will help carry them into adulthood, okay? So children look up to and di digest behavior patterns from their significant um, parents or, you know, elders, okay? So set good examples. So there's a message here about setting good examples. Just gonna have a quick sip. Mm. setting good examples is needed okay and not leading things to temptation so we're going to keep that in mind let's pull the tarot let's see what the tarot wants to tell us let's see what the tarot wants to tell the pisces what does pisces need to know right now regarding the person the specific person what are their current feelings for them right now what are their current feelings for them right now what are their Ooh. Okay, we have quite a lot. Let's start with here. So we have the Ace of Wands, Pentacles, we have the Knight of Swords, and we have the Chariot. Okay, this is an interesting, okay. This is an interesting um, set. So I feel like there could be some fiery energy. There could be things about money. I feel like maybe it's also saying don't be mindful of maybe what conversations you have about legacy, wealth, money. Because especially with this being um, in reverse, you know, and the chariot, I feel like it's kind of saying, again, with this temptation, to be mindful of how much you say, how much you give at this time. Just be mindful of that. Because I feel like, you know there could be you know that you could be moved and grooved by this energy of fire of passion that feels like alluring and it's like this person may come across i feel like this person may come across like they have it all but then perhaps may not have it all and have a strong energy of willpower to try and lure you pull you into their web this is what i'm getting so i feel like this one i feel like this one is could be you know be mindful of what conversations you are having at this time okay let's keep pulling and see what message else what else wants to come out because that's quite an interesting layout for the tarot okay regarding feelings okay um it could be someone who has money or it could be someone also who has a lot going on for them and they might be working very busy but I feel like also with the Knight of Swords being in reverse there could be some communication issues that they and I feel like they may use their status they may also use use that as a way to kind of like oh you know yeah I was busy I've got this going on I'm sorry um, and then almost use that as a way to confirm why they haven't been talking or engaging so i it's and this could be someone who's older i feel like this could be someone who's older but i feel like it's also saying maybe it could be some patterns or behavior that they've seen from when they were younger and they've developed it as they've got older but I feel like it's also, it could be for some of you, be mindful of what you say when it comes to money and talking about those kind of things. You know, like use your due diligence as well. Okay, so let's have a look. What are, um, what are their current feelings for Pisces, Pisces, Pisces? What does Pisces need to know? What are their current feelings? Why is the, why is the Knight of Swords in reverse? emotional loss yes because this is what i'm seeing like there's no emotional there's no mo there's no cups here so this is kind of also a sign that there there could be some emotional unavailability going on emotional unavailability going on and i feel like this could also be causing you to feel a particular way about this person because i feel like they're using their they could be using their status to create interest, you know, to say, look, I've got this going on, you know, I'm so busy and this is why I haven't been able to talk to you or communicate with you. But I feel like it's almost like they give you enough to then hold, pull it back, pull it back, pull it back. 
and I feel like this is causing a five of cups energy in you where it's giving you mixed I feel like it, you may have been getting mixed messages mixed messages but I feel like also with the Jamaican proverb I feel like it may be also creating inner child issues it might be you know not for you but it might be it might be things that you witnessed or things you've observed things you may have seen or the type of conditions you may have experienced with some like maybe promising of oh yeah you, oh it's your birthday yes i'm gonna get you this oh and and then um then you realize what was promised um they don't follow it up now you know sometimes you know we get older and we know we realize that promises um don't mean that um that it will follow through but i feel like it could be something that you're like right rec you you might be you might be also experienced that right i've had this before of like people telling me this telling me that and saying all these things that they're going to do and then they don't actually follow through and i feel like this could be what has been going on that they what they say doesn't necessarily what they say because we've got the chariot here and the chariot is like the sign of things you know coming forward but i feel like the fact that the knight of swords is in reverse I, it kind of makes me feel like they might say what they're going to do but then stay with the willpower of oh well i said i was going to do it didn't i so like or they might kind of come across where they give you like a surprise oh um you you come back again but i feel like they may come back again and it's like they might create this kind of loop of looking like yeah i'm coming but then it could be this energy really that they're coming like or showing an interest for it could be maybe that sh a strong sexual energy and then um flirtation keep making you like getting all flustered <laughs> Oh, you like me like <laughs> yeah baby i like you like that <laughs> so what are you say yeah i'm gonna call you at seven o'clock what you what, what, what what do you think baby what do you th what do you think about that mm, um well i'm kind of busy like oh come on man you, you got time for me baby you know you got time for me what are we gonna be doing at this time um well i don't know and then after it comes to that time and then you realize i thought they were gonna call me they kind of and they come back again. Oh yeah, sorry. You know I've had so much things to do. So what are you saying? You what are you saying, baby? What are you saying, baby? What are you saying? What are you saying? Come on, don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it, baby. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. <laughs> and I feel like it's just something you might just need to be mindful of that there could be some kind of conflict energy here. And I feel like maybe it could be waking up some conflict energy that you may have experienced as well. Okay, and you and it. And I feel like you always always have to trust your intuition. And, you know, sometimes people can want to sell us the world. They can want to sell us the world. And that might be very tempting. Because look how we've got this as well. The don't sell, don't sell, um, don't um, set a hungry duck the task to eat, um, to, to watch corn. And I feel like this could be maybe an energy here that maybe there is some part of you feeling hungry for love and lust and i feel like it's kind of saying just be mindful of, to trust your intuition that it's not a loop situation that you're in with this person or this person is trying to put you in this loop situation of feeding you lots of information or feeding you like information about oh yeah i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that but then doesn't come doesn't it doesn't come into fruition Pisces. so i feel like it's kind of really trust your intuition at this time let's see else what, what what else wants to come out for pisces pisces can we have a message for pisces please but i feel like with the eight of wands here it's kind of like giving real sexual vibes here let's see what wants to come out okay we have yes yeah, see look sacrifice sacrifice so i feel like there is a strong energy pisces of using your intuition here using your intuition don't be that person that they pull and um, cut and come back to cut again 
or I feel like it could be like a ghosting energy, ghosting energy, come back, ghosting energy, come back, ghosting, oh, how you doing, Jane, what are you doing, oh, yeah, you know, we're so busy, you know, the other day, I had so much to do, I'm sorry, so, what are you saying, what are you saying, Jane, you wanna, you know, have some, like, you know, some, like, spend some time together, what are you saying, what are you doing, you're busy, don't worry, baby, I'll take you out to a nice restaurant, yeah, you know, yeah, we, yeah, I'll get you in dress, tell me how much it is, and I'll buy it for you, don't worry, I've got everything, and then afterwards, it's like, what's happened, what's happened to it, like, it's all, I thought we was doing something, it's all good, oh, hey, baby, how you doing, you know what, I was busy, yeah, you know, yeah, I had so much going on, you know, and I feel like it could be, don't get caught up in this loop, um, you know, don't get caught up in this loop, this is the energy that I'm getting, especially with this coming out as well, is, there has to be, you have to cut that cord, there has to be a cord that has to be cut, has to be released. If you haven't already, please go and have a look on um, the video sections on Wagwan Taranty YouTube channel and have a look at that inner child, um, inner child video because I feel like there's going to be lots of messages that will come out. But I feel like there's a strong energy of releasing, releasing any unhealthy cords or any healthy ties here. Let's have a look and see what chakras are being impacted at this time let's see what wants to come out Ooh. so we have the root now this is definitely an inner child definitely some inner child um, resurfacing okay because it can be something that you've witnessed something you've observed something you've experienced and you know, those can be like those early type, early forms of like socialization that can impact us, you know, whether we like it or not. Sometimes we feel like, oh yeah, I've gone past that. But it can, you know, show itself up in maybe how we respond to relationships, how we deal with people in our lives. And I feel like this situation here has got you in this place where it's almost like you, it's this kind of looped energy where you feel like yeah i know i need to cut it but i feel like this person may cut it or they may communicate i'm kind of getting they may communicate in a way where they always because it's similar to what, what with Aquari aquarius this cut 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 it they're the shot caller there's a shot caller and it's like leading you into that temptation and then dropping you leading you dropping you leading you and it's causing this kind of emotional pain and i feel like it's kind of saying you know what We've got to work on this confidence with the solar plexus and work on that root, letting go of anything that has um, any any kind of like things that, you know, may need to be released to cut this so that you are bringing in, bringing in a, a love energy that's right for you. Because I feel like this is what I'm kind of getting at this. This one, you got to give a side eye. We've got girl. Bleh. We're going to give it some moment of silence and really like, mm. We got, we're going to give you a side eye on this one. We're going to give you like a peripheral vision. Okay, side eye, real side eye. If only you could see my side eye right now. <laughs> but it's a side eye, side eye, okay? So, right, let's pull out a message from the bush, the bush flower, Australian bush flower oracle deck. Let's see what wants to come out. For Pisces, Pisces, what do you need to know at this time? Let's see if there's an additional message. Okay, right. So we have optimism, sunshine, wattle. And I feel like this is your energy, um, Pisces. You are, you know, you bring out sunshine. Okay, a song by Gabrielle is coming out. Sunshine, Gabrielle, my sunshine. That's where you are, my shining star. Yeah, that's it. You make me feel like on top of the world. You are my sunshine. And I feel like that is your energy. Optimism, joyful, expectation. And I feel like that is the energy that you deserve. And I feel like this is again coming back to the sun. The energy of the sun in tarot. It represents that, you know, things blossoming, things growing. You know, that inner child. And I feel like it's your inner child really calling out to saying, 
uh, you know, it's your time to shine. It's your time to shine. I love on you. Sending you this loving energy. Because you are the sunshine, Pisces. Ooh, Pisces, you're the sunshine in my life. Ooh, sunshine, hey. Sunshine, Pisces, hey. Sunshine, Pisces, oh. Sunshine, Pisces, oh. You are... You are, you are the sunshine, baby. You are. <laughs> okay, let's get back into it because <laughs> I could go keep going, you know. <laughs> but I feel like that's the energy, Pisces. You need to be your own party and enjoying your own vibes, enjoying and loving on yourself, and really tapping into that energy of the inner child. And it's funny. It's like look how long this read has gone but i feel that energy and rejuvenation of the sunshine energy that you have pisces and tap into that tap into that energy monga warata strengthening one's will and i feel like this is also the energy of your your self your sense of self your sense of worthiness you tapping into that energy and believing in yourself and i feel like this could be also maybe something you've noticed every time that you might be working on yourself okay every time you you might be working on yourself there might be like a distraction that comes to try and lure you and i feel like it's kind of saying work you know continue that journey continue that path of working on yourself healing on yourself loving on yourself because i feel like that sunshine pisces that you have it's abundant and i feel like it's tapping into that and i feel like if there's anything that has made you feel like you're in a loop or has given you this constant feeling like you're in this loop of emotional loss we have to drop it we have to we have to stop that you know auntie self-love wants to have a quick message to let auntie self-love come in okay your favorite jamaican auntie right here all right come on jamaican auntie let's say it darling on it on it darling let me tell you you see your sunshine is beautiful i can see the radiance of sunshine and I want you to tap into that lovely. I want you to tap into it, darling. You are beautiful in every shape and every way. You are beautiful, darling. And let your sunshine glow. All right, let your sunshine, darling, glow. Let it glow abundantly everywhere you go. Because it is wonderful and it is beautiful. And only those who've earned your respect and earned that should you know be entitled to let that to, to let that come in into your light energy your love and light energy all right thank you auntie self-love you're welcome darling anytime anytime darling come in and me i'll give you some nice loving energy thank you <laughs> all right so what auntie self-love was just saying is your your energy is abundant so you know let those who respect who value your worth but also letting you know that has come from you first you valuing your sense of self your sense of worth so that those who who m match that energy come your way okay but this kind of energy of looping here where it's kind of giving you this hot and cold feeling and pulling on strings, pulling pulling on your emotional strings, we have to stop that. We have to stop that because I can see how it's causing emotional, in terms of like emotional, um, like ties around your your solar plexus, which is your confidence, your 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 ability to kind of feel, you know, your your self esteem, your confidence, and feelings of feeling secure in yourself and that sense of worth. So tap into that sunshine energy you are you are the sunshine okay so right so let's have a pull out a an outcome message or just a clarifying message although i feel like you may have got a clarifying message from even anti self-love but look yes yeah, look at this two of swords the two of swords in reverse i feel like it's kind of you know you will see things differently once you kind of released all of this kind of 
do I go here? Do I go there? What do I do? Do I do this? Do I? I feel like it will you release that, and then you will also be because it's like you're blindfolded. You will also see that this was in an imbalanced union. This was not a fair union. This did not complement you and your higher self. This was not aligned with your higher self. This was not aligned with your sunshine. This was not aligned with your inner child. This was not in a line. In, in alignment with your confidence and your self-esteem okay Pisces and I hope this is I hope this message message is resonating so we're last but not least we're going to pull out a message from the spiritual guidance what does Pisces need to know at this time what does Pisces need to know let's have a see what wants to come out Ooh. okay so we have Sing up, look at this. <laughs> Intuitive gems downloading. Sing out loud, Pisces, that you are beautiful and always shining. Pisces, look at this. You can do it in the bath or shower if you want to, but sing out loud that you are beautiful and always shining yes Pisces you've got to always go out there and sh talk you know sing out loud that you are beautiful because you are bringing those good rays of energy and you're allowing you're allowing the universe to hear to help to support Okay, call on your guardian angels, your ancestors, your spirit guides. I'm going to call on Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael for you. Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Ma Michael and Archangel Raphael, Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael. I ask that you provide your supportive, loving, protective energy and healing energy for Pisces and for all of the, for all of the zodiac signs. And the collective at Wild Guan and Tea, protect them and guide them and give them that healing energy that they need to help them to see the sunshine in their hearts, to help them to see that the love that they have, to help them to see how beautiful and loving and nurturing they are, to help them to see that they are abundant, to help them to see that they are blessed, to help them to see that they are protected, to help them to see that they are loved. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. <laughs> oh, that feels so good, collective. That feels so good. Now, write four affirmations, Pisces, for yourself, starting with I am, and say it to yourself before you go to bed. Say it to yourself before you go to bed three times, because this is all going to help to, you know, recorrect and like re rewire you know things that you may have seen may think you you witnessed or observed and you are replacing it with now tools that are loving that are nurturing and building that consistent love for yourself as well so it's radiating from your from your body and out to the world into your existence into your environment everywhere you go okay so that's Pisces so I hope the messages are resonating for you all okay Pisces thank you very much to all of the zodiac signs thank you and again remember take what resonates and leave the rest I saw it go around here take what resonates and leave the rest I saw it go I saw it go this simply means that's how it goes around here and pop by you know we'll have all signs reads let us know if there's any type of particular question that you may have that you may have an interest for please put it in the comments and we and we will have a look and see what we can do and there's also the pick a card readings as well so on this note just take time to look after yourself remember to love on yourself from head to toe and stay blessed stay you know stay blessed Stay blessed, stay blessed, stay hydrated, look good, feel good, and I will see you on the next one. Wah, guan.